are we live or live okay yeah we're live with east canada grid breakfast number four i have carp garmfield and jushichi on commentary uh, hey guys. hello everyone hello nice 13 player bracket visitor from brazil looks like it'll be a good tournament hey. first match is kilamine versus by jimmy I'm really interested to see which character Killian's going to play, because he plays both Lene and Akatsuki, and I don't really have any familiarity with how either one of those characters does in the Mika matchup. But then again, you know, Jimmy could pick whatever character. Oh, what's the button to skip on PC? Like on keyboard? Sorry. Right. Um, uh, it should say at the bottom. Okay. Um, I'm very interested in this carb steam, actually, more than anything. This is uh, this is talking about the dragon Final Fantasy XIV. Is it? It's actually a figure from Norse mythology, but you know, go. Nice pick out. How do I pass? You can't pass because we need another person in the game. So two people have to always be like, you know, the next players. I understand. One of you can't pass. While we're waiting, I will show the bracket. Jimmy wants to play you now. Sorry, Jimmy, not today. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh no. Nice. Okay. Maturino is at fifty dollars. The bracket is right here. I'm just coming in. We're just waiting on killing. There he is. All right. We'll get started. Is it Kilamine? Has anyone oh. asked him? Yes! <laughs> yes! We've had we have this conversation every week. He says it's whatever. We do. But so it's Clyde. It's Clyde. It's Clyde. It's Clyde. Right. Okay. I forgot. Clyde versus Jimmy. Clyde going with uh Lene. I think I think Akoski is pretty okay yeah. in this matchup against me, but um Killing definitely like putting more time into his Lene lately, I feel like. Yeah, he seems to be favoring that character recently. It's uh, becoming it's less of a 50 50 and more of like a 60 40 or 70 30 for him. The ratio is shifting. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, Jimmy. Let's go under night. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's a good start to a tournament. <laughs> any, any news from Jimmy about what that was? It looks like some technical difficulties on Jimmy's part. He seems to be online on everything, so I'm not sure his internet. Oh, his controller was just saying that's fine. Oh, okay. Controller issues. Really, it's difficult. You block one jump in from Lene, and it's, it's just right. Over. Game loss. No, I'm just kidding. It is a game loss. It is, but Lene is just too strong. Me, that's a game loss. Okay, <laughs> right, oh, pass again. Yeah. I unlocked the pass feature. Mm -hmm. Back to park. Back to Lene versus Mika. So going off of that very small section of the round we saw before uh, Jimmy left the room, seems like Kilamine wants to take uh, an aerial approach. Kilamine wants to Mika. I'm not, I'm not sure how smart that is, given how strong Mika Tornado is, but very early head involved their uh, advancing move. It, it's a bit harder to go for the Tornado when you don't have 100 meters. I mean, it's a bit scary, I guess. Jimmy getting hit with 5A on the OT there. Kilmeen's gonna do another corner route, probably on the Kuga. Yeah. Alright. He... Jimmy! Jimmy not inclined to block these medias. 
Oh, nice. Good match. mash out on the Kuga Dash. That's, uh, that's a six frame 2B. It's a rarity. It's a dying breed. It's only me getting set those. Oh god, kill me hit dive here. He's learning. He's, he's yeah, beginning he's been to believe. Nice tender, nice combo. High shield on Wake. Oh! This should be it for killing him. Yeah. He Dragon on that. Um, well, that's game one to kill him. Yeah. Very quick game one. Yeah, I think Jimmy was a little uh, too quick to make a decision on defense. I think he could play a little more passively, gather some more intel. Uh, Maybe make the rounds take a little longer, uh, make kill me work a little harder. Yeah, I think I think that Jimmy just like puts, you know, waits for like Warpal a little bit here. Oh he's going to He's not taking my advice, he's full throttle. Ooh, good green shield throw. Okay. Oh wow. Ruby bust out. Ruby oh. oh no! Bad low Yeah. Nice convert here by Jimmy. Oh. Yeah. So Jimmy went for two, one for eight there, but I feel like it's it's not going to be a situation where Lene wants to like one AD or something because uh, Lene was good record right there. Oh, Jimmy gets cycled. Oh. Jimmy seems to be doing a pretty decent job of policing neutral with these increased uh, jump Cs and increased 5 Cs. Kelamine's previous air approach isn't really working out for him. Oh, Kelamine did a good job of like pressing uh, 5A after after blocking the rising increased jump C, but he didn't convert off of it. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it gets counter hit there. Okay, jumps out. Oh! Good fuzzy mash 2A. Oh. oh! I can I only think that Jimmy wanted EX Tornado, but got EX Missile. It could have been that he was pre-committed to something and didn't see the red flash either. Oh, next catch with the Missile. Nice! Nice, nice. Nice. Good bait from Jimmy with the up back uh, low to the ground tornado. Yeah. Catches a lot of people trying to run under the corner like that. Landing air tornado is such a such a funny move. I love that. Yeah, it, it's a uh, I think it's head involved, right? And it covers a good amount of. I don't know about the space, space. It, but like it it's covers some of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's in the air. Yeah. Nice sick throw off of uh, 2B, minus 4. Oh, wow! Five frame normals. Yeah. Uh, probably, like, Jimmy wasn't. He definitely intended to frame trap there, it's just a bit slow. Nice. Right, good CSTP. It's Killamine's turn again. Bust out These 3B. These are crazy. Yeah, he's doing a really good job of reading what he wants to redash and stuffing him by oh. making him block earlier than he thinks he has to, you know, with him advancing move. Mm -hmm. Jimmy not blocking the assault here, gonna eat some damage. Oh, interesting Ender. This really puts both characters back at mid screen. Oh! I. Wow, that was... Oh no, Jimmy, you missed the pickup. Nice, nice. Got the uh, grip break, 2 and 4. Pretty low reward, though. Yeah. I mean, if you consider the fact that, like, it's, it's something... Uh, Ooh, great wins. rising JA to challenge Jimmy's assault. Well, top 4's uh, reward is pretty big for being, like, a TRM tool, you know? 
See, I agree, but uh, he raw threw his shield and didn't uh, TRM him and only got like 2.5 out of it. I just wonder if he could have got more, something more. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I guess it was kind of a lag in that situation. Oh. Wow, Jimmy is just... That's, that's a weird route. It doesn't do too much damage. But yeah. Jimmy is just getting all the hits right now. It's it's very... He's really dominating these scramble situations. But ooh, late input on 5A. Yeah. That normally trades. Alright, Jimmy's in the corner. It's gonna be... It's gonna be tricky now. That's roll, okay. Oh! That's gonna be it. Wow. Yeah, 2-1 to Jimmy. Huh. <laughs> Bye, Jimmy. Sticking to his guns. That was a really good set, I think. Uh, one of the things that I noticed specifically in the transition between game one and game two was uh, Killy was giving away a lot of cycles for like guaranteed fast tempo pressure that Jimmy would just shield. And so that gave him more of an onus to start busting out with like 3B and things like that. Cause he's like pushing himself out and it's like, okay, you have to redash to come back in. He's not really slowing down um, to allow Jimmy to kind of hang himself a bit. And so those bust outs with Tornado and the bust out with 3B on redashes is just a nice check there. It was, it was really good. Yeah, I think Jimmy also did a really good job of learning when to challenge uh, Killian's approach options with Tornado, and they are Tornado. Uh, he had really high success rate of just holding on to CS, like you said, when he got his, uh, after shielding Killian's offense, and then just checking all of his approach options with uh, either Jump Air Tornado or Ground Tornado. I have nothing to add to that. Jimmy is just... He's, he's just cracked. He, he like, it looked like he was just gonna get washed game one, but he, he just like, just presented so many like Jimmy situations to uh, kill me. I don't think kill me's like ready to play against a player that goes that fast. Yeah, the yeah. Jimmyations. Yeah, this, the Jimmyations. Yeah. I saw you guys um, briefly discuss uh, why Jimmy might have gone for some of the enders that he went for. I know that um, Libikichi in particular tends to like those setups on the delay air assault with uh, IC fire or ICJC mm -hmm. because it kind of auto times to meaty if you want it with 1A or yeah. you can go with like a really deep JC. So it, it seemed like it was more of like he wanted the advantageous like Okazume situation rather than going for the damage, which makes sense, I think. I think my lobby's broken. Yeah, I I kept getting picked up that game just now. Uh, but I, I don't really see I don't it. see you in here, Carvis. I think so. Uh, oh, maybe I'll show Reem again. I see him in. Uh, uh, maybe I'll try to I can remake the lobby just in case. Yeah, because I I just see acquiring for the room information. Yeah, now I can't get back in. So yeah. <clears throat> oh no, I can't create the room. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh oh, Steam servers. <laughs> All right, back it up, fellas. All right, wait. Tournament's over. Um, it's Tuesday somewhere. True. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> All, All right, right, try joining now. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Oh, there are two of them now. This is very try odd. I'll try okay. to join the second one. Pick the uh, one yeah, that you I think is out. right. I'm, I'm in the right one, I think, because right. I see two shoots here. Yeah. yeah. Also, Axel, this is what happens when you when you don't adopt the new Elden players in our region. They start changing the names of stuff like this. <laughs> Baby D. It's not my job anymore. Oh my god. So I'm gonna slide out again and let uh, Garmin Cart handle the reins on this one. Okay. I'll be uh, formally commentating in round three. All right. So we're gonna see Smart Steer versus. I'm not sure who this is. This is Rice This is Rice Yeah. And you said Rice new player playing Elf? Yeah. 
fairly new Elden player. He's been working on his combos. He's been playing a lot in like uh, triplicates, beginner lobbies. Oh yeah, I know the cast of characters that tends to show up around those lobbies. Yeah. Last time I took a look at Ricer's play, he was still very much, like, focusing on his confirms and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the way you have to start, right? Mm -hmm. So, Elton versus Orie, I can only help but think that this kind of goes a similar way to Orie versus Zoners, where you tend to play a jousting match with your increase and non-increase thrusts, trying to get around bullets and maneuver around uh, Elton's 2C range. Yeah. Uh, Smart Shirt does have a turn right now, though. I guess cycle off of that throw. This will be hard for Ricer to deal with because Orie is very good at being in non mashable distances. Yeah, Orie tends to play a very specific spacing game that can be hard to adapt to if you're a new player and don't have very much familiarity with the ranges. I'm not sure how much these two have played. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I don't see these guys playing in the uh, Netflix channel for East Canada very often. Ooh, okay. Okay. So Racer, Racer tends to autopilot a uh, B sync a little bit on pressure. Um, and let's see if Smarcer will actually call this out eventually. But so far, it looks very. Pretty much like Smarcer is just like uh, playing his game. And winning off of like the sheer power of his converts. Yeah, he's game. winning off of <laughs> off of his really strong conversions. Just earlier, uh, to get in that pressure, we saw him successfully uh, dodge increase ricochet and then stuff the next option that he was throwing out with uh, a B thrust CS. Which is, I think, how you have to play this on the part of Orie. I think trying to aggress too quickly will get you shut down by 236A. Uh, oh. Things like frame traps into uh, Ether Light Ground with 214S. Yeah. Maybe it's just Ether Light? I don't, I don't know what that moves. Oh! Wow! Three C's over the uh, L Known Library 2B. It has foot involved. Oh! Oh, interesting. Smart Seer going for shield, not recognizing that it went over him. I think but... he might have thought that the reverse hitbox might catch him, and if he thought it had one. I know a lot of moves in this game, especially the jump moves, have really kind of sneaky hurt boxes behind themselves. Nice CC here. Well, blow the meter and uh, get double gun. Load. Let's see how Ricer plays pressure. Frame I'm training a little bit. Two oh. B. Yeah, it's caught up by CSDP. Oh, DP. Yeah. I'm missing the DP here. Uh oh. Yeah. I think he's autopiloting his confirms a little in his block screens. Yeah. Going into going into moves when he expects them to hit rather than reacting. Did a good job of blocking the assault JA from Orie if it gets freed up by a Gatling two A's. Oh, <laughs> rounds are thrust! Ouch! This is like the most painful way to start a round. Oh, TRM, wow. Smartster waited forever to like go for that too. Yeah, right Ricer is showing a lot of respect. Yeah, I can block one 2A, but two 2As, that's, that's a little much. Wait till you hear about three 2As. Oh no, 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 don't talk. Don't talk. It's so Oh! Okay. Oh. Oh, Ricer is missing these DPs. Yeah, I don't think he's taking the opportunity to recognize when uh, he has the chance to keep his turn. Okay, off of Smart Steer. All he needs is one good hit in VO. Yeah, this is, this is really scary right now for Ricer. Ah, okay. VO now! Oh, okay, that works. It gets a reload too, very nice. This doesn't kill, but no, but it's close. It, it is it is pretty good. Oh, okay. 
catches him off guard by only doing one rep of his gunshot ender. Ooh, scary shield there, but it recovers in time to knock out Crit Broken by the Assault Jump C. Wake up 2C! Okay. Alright, let's go, Ohito. Alright, right there did the side swap combo. He, he was like trying super hard to get that in the beginner lobby last time, so. Let's go, right there. Let's go, right there. Yeah, gets poked out with just B thrust CS. You have to be really conscious when Ori has that on deck when you go to reset the pressure. Otherwise, it's either her turn or you're eating, I think, like a 3.5 combo. Good air throw reaction. Oh, the drops. Defensive neutral jump A. Is that oh. a thing? I always thought he was just misinputting like TK persona. I'm not sure. I'm just calling it how I see it, okay? <laughs> you know, in, in Street Fighter people do that, so I don't, I don't know. Why can't they do that in Union? The defense on Rysair's part. Uh, uh, Backdash gets caught out by A thrust. That's gonna be 2-0 right. Smart Steer. Yeah. Good stuff from both sides. I really liked watching Ricer adapt to uh, the neutral situations with Aurier, but I don't think yeah. he caught on how to safely reset his offense uh, and bait out kind of the defensive options that Smart Steer was doing quite soon enough. Mm -hmm. I think I think Smart Steer really like got so much out of his uh, his defensive chain shifts too. Yeah, even just not- even the times when he wasn't just using CS into uh, an EX move for an invincible reversal, he was getting a lot of mileage just about waiting for the rebeats on Rice Hair, and then hitting uh, B or A thrust into CS for his turn. Because more often than not, it wasn't just his turn, he was confirming it. Yeah. Oh, so should I- should I just like hop out to play my Nacho Jimmy now? Yeah, I, I can take over if that's the case. Alright, you should yeah. take the wheel. Thank you, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I thought a really interesting uh, observation in that set was that Ricer had a lot of opinion, like opportunities to do CS reversal, and I think that that was like the big difference in really being able to start his offense versus Smart Steer not. Uh, he didn't feel like he really got called out by like too many things and his defensive CS usage was really good. It just seemed kind of like, uh, since he's a newer player, he just wasn't comfortable in some of those fast spots. Yeah, a lot of missed opportunities, which, you know, tends to happen when you're dealing with a lot. He's saying that, you know, it's an unfamiliar matchup for him. He hasn't played Aurier a lot, so when you're feeling that kind of pressure in tournament, uh, it can be hard to make those decisions in only 40 frames. I think up next we have uh, Yaka versus Seijaku. So we will get our our transplant, much like myself, a transplant <laughs> into Canada uh, from a southern part of the Americas. So yes, uh, for, those, for those who aren't quite as familiar with Yaka, uh, they were the Heaven or Hell twenty twenty two runner up to Yuno. Uh, I think kind of considered to be the strongest player in the Brazil area, if, if my memory serves correctly. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually really, really interested to see how, uh, how they're going to play in this. I don't know if I've really seen Yaka play too much with the Canadians. Yeah, we in North America see a lot from the Chilean uni scene, I think, when, if you're going looking for it. And I'm pretty familiar with a lot of their players, but I can't say I'm too familiar with the Brazilian scene outside of a couple. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, kind of what he brings to the table in playing these East Canadians. Mm -hmm. So for people in the chat uh, who might be interested in it, uh, Uni Brazil, I think uh, they play a lot on that set. Like there, there are a lot of exhibition sets, a lot of concept matches that they play. Uh, I think they have a YouTube channel too, where you can peep their content. I'm gonna see if I can grab it before this set uh, is here. I also have to pass, so give me one second. Uni... 
There we go. So I'm going to drop this in the, the chat here. If you're interested in peeping Uni Brazil, uh, they have a lot of lobbies that they stream, a lot of exhibition sets, team tournaments. They got a lot of good stuff there. So if you're interested in another part of the world Uni scene, definitely check into that. Give them a sub. Yeah, definitely go and check them out. On one hand, nothing wrong with being too informed. And on the other hand, you know, it's good to support pretty much anyone who's keeping this game active in these tough times. It's kind of crazy because um, we have Korean Uni, like I know Guri Guri uh, is kind of the head over there. You know, we're familiar with like Mo and the European scene. So like there are spots all over the place. I, I saw another Southeast Asian stream with um, Helmet Guy, I think plays Carmine. Jindai, mm -hmm. like the Seth over there. But enough about that, we're gonna go right into it. We get some Batista versus Merkava. I, I haven't seen this too much since like ST. Yeah, Merkava. Merkava. Um, uh, common characters. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of surprising. All the Mercs uh, washed ashore and never came back. Yeah, it, it's kind of cool because uh, the running opinion is like Merc is really annoying to play online uh, for the Merkava players. So. Yeah, that's interesting. I so we, got see yeah, we got the open up in the drill. Yeah, Yaka's execution is fantastic. He'll hit you with all sorts of drills. Okay. Oh, counter hit. And that is going to confirm. It's not going to spend any resources. Tried the TRM broken. Oh, great hit call out with 214C. Mm -hmm. It's Mashu's turn. He's probably going to bring him all the way to the corner. I think he yeah. might EX babies. No, regular. This does a lot of damage to him, potentially. And he baits the VL. Okay, so Yaka is not going to have any resources. And Simpo did not have to use anything. So we're going to go into another round here. Almost oh. had the opportunity to whiff punch it, uh, punish the uh, 2 BBB. All right, now you're in gem open. Back text out. Yep. Long the air patience for Senpo. Oh wow, that actually hit the ball. It's so hard to like clear B ball, at least for me. So to see uh, Merkava's big stretchy arms a lot. Oh, dash drill. That was dirty. I would have got hit by that. Okay, nice flash kick. Uh, got him to CS for nothing there. But Yaka is going to have to be careful. Yeah. He had meter to potentially bust out of that situation as well. We're going to get some Okuzume. Yep. There we go. Oh, just the staggered two ways opening him up. Probably trying to input a flash kick. Yeah. Definitely tunneling for flash kick. Who can blame him? It'll probably get him. Yeah. Oh, good shield. That should... He has to- oh! Okay. He should kill with a C though. Yep. That was a really hairy cycle situation too. Uh, wow. One bar? Yeah, that's gonna kill. Simpo almost gave away uh, the cycle at a couple different points, but the second hit of 2B catching ended up swinging the cycle for him to feel comfortable to go. So Yaka already down 1-0. Let's see what his adjustments are. I don't know if uh, Priscilla has a lot of Merkava. I don't know if anywhere has a lot of Merkava, so... Fair enough. If Senpo feels pretty comfortable fighting that, which it seems like he does, that can be challenging for Yaka if he hasn't seen a lot of Merkava. Yeah, Senpo has a sub bat, so if he has something to do... Oh, uh, yeah. So in terms of... Ex oh. Instant drill. Oh, I love this combo. This combo is really good. Another drill potentially on the table. Oh, but he whiffed the dash throw. And Mosh, excuse me, Simpo ready to mash. Okay. Clears the baby away with the uh, attack that needed to be blocked. Uh, Try to 4B. I'm surprised he slipped that 2A in before the 4B hit. Kamame's finger. Oh my god, he just swooped in! Fuck your gym, it's time. 
No, no, we have a situation. didn't work. It's time to go on the offense. Gets him with a low flight into 2B. Okay. Late shield doesn't give him the cycle. EX flash? No, he just chose B. Wow! Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's really good. I think he did the TK laser to make sure that he was over the, the hitbox. Bait on the reversal. No shielding, but that's fine. We're gonna throw. That was a drill. He just messed up the setup. Okay. Three setup. And the late hits. This is really scary, Simpo. You don't have meter to get out of that setups, and all you have to do is... I'm losing my words. It's so stressful. Yeah. I do like that he was using the uh, charge fireball, potentially the Stop the laser hit. Oh! That was the hit. What is Yaka going to do? Drill? No. We're just gonna wait, and the delay pressure should bring this home for Yaka. We're looking at 1 1. Great instincts from Yaka. I'll know when you mash. I'll hit 5A. I'm not afraid. That's probably one of the scariest things for me fighting Batista is like, when is delay 2A coming? Like, if I push myself out, when are you pressing, like, 5A or 2A? Yeah, it's a really strong disjoint doesn't move her hurtbox very much at all. And she can throw it out relatively low commitment because of her no-counter hit passive, so it becomes this really scary guessing game with a lot of characters that can't outrange it. But great callout on the JC with 3C. It's gonna... Force to stand. I really like that Simple is challenging the situations where Yaka can hold for flash kick. Dash throw CS. Okay, transferred over. Tries to dive kick maybe over 2C. Yaka really behind on the life department, but right on time we got the drill. No potential. S yeah, okay, there we go. We're gonna strip. Has to be very careful. Now he's running, but can he really afford to run? There's the 4B. 4B, my beloved. Anti airs him. This should be the round. CS. I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if IW was necessary there, but you know, close that any way you have to. Yep. And Yaka is not going to have access to meter, at least for a little bit. Oh my god. Oh. The dive kick on 5C. Punishing Batista's extended hurt. I thought that was a myth. Right? I didn't know she had them. Okay, so we got the bust out with 2B. Not the fastest button, but it's very long. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Simpo feels pretty comfortable. Where's the threat? Oh, oh. I just got stand okay. Now you're in gem mode. Huge 2B. Gigantic 2B. And take him all the way to the corner. Alright, we got the Okazume again. CS, but no flash! Uh-oh, this is really bad. Almost got thrown and grip broken for for the kill, too. Counter hit confirmed! Thank you, Kamine. Very cool. Okay. Uh, hey, hey. So I saw that one coming a mile away. Yeah, yeah that's he the round. He it all? Yeah. I thought he was going to EX flash kick. I think that would have done the trick, yeah. Or he possibly could have routed into J-Force J function into C-Dive. But no matter what, we are going into the final final! Yaka going to have to get it done without meter for at least a little bit. Gets mashed on the redash. Unfortunate drop combo. Yep. Oh my god, that was pretty, pretty negative. I was surprised that Simpo did not decide to CS at the end. Yep, he's gonna bust out. Backwards movement. Punish, CS. Okay. You can't backdash like that against Merc with 100 meter. This is a lot of damage and Oki. Okay. But he but clears it up back to JC cleared that one? I couldn't believe it. That it. Drill, there it is. Uh oh. But Merc will get the cycle. Maybe you can still strip him because this isn't going to kill. You have to get rid of the resource, correct. Went for the whiff this time, thinking, uh-oh. 
You have to be very careful, Mark. Oh my god. He could have gotten IW'd for anything. Anything can happen. You have to be very, very careful. Okay, decides yeah. to use the ball for the approach. Be careful of the drill. There it is. And Yaka making the comeback two to one. Good stuff, good adaptation from Yaka. Jay with drill. I think we've saw we were able to see like seven different like drill setups. It's like actually insane. It's just why not? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That was a very, very good set. Yeah, really exciting stuff. Adaptation from Yaka. Just kind of the neutral maneuverings from Senpo. Mm -hmm. Really impressive stuff. I was very impressed by Simpo's awareness of uh, Vitsista's defensive options. Unfortunately, toward the end, uh, the hits that he was able to get weren't quite able to be stretched into the looping Okizume that I think Merkava players would like. Um, and that was the difference, but very good set. Probably the best set we've seen so far today. I agree, for sure. I believe up next we're going to get Falcon Man versus Orange. Shall we get some Carmen action? Always good to see Karma. Yeah. There aren't too many of them left. There's been a, a slight resurgence. I think there's more Karma players than Merkaba players now. But actively, I think so. Yeah. You know, we had uh, Papa Pesto's amazing showdown, uh, Texas showdown showing. Obviously, we know that Spinach is the grand poppy of all in a Carmines. The wise the sage in his Bayou Temple. Conjure mm -hmm. has a big... DMC tunes. Kondru has a very... I'm just going I'm sorry. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, Kondru has a very strong Carmine among some of his other characters that he decides to play. And of course we have Falcon Man, who has been coming up through the Wazd uh, netplay era, I guess I can say. Um, he's been really impressive to me. Like, I playing him a couple different times, and really like watching his route creativity. Uh, he was like one of the first... Carmine players that I remember seeing doing the new rejump styles of confirms. Um, it feels like he has a confirm for almost everything. You can yeah. tell that he's worked really, really hard. Yeah, yeah, he's shown a lot of personal growth over the past two years. So. I really, I really want to see him take a mash fest. I know that he hasn't made it all the way there yet. He's gotten close a couple times. Yeah, uh, the BB wall is so the BB I mean, wall, I, the filter. As someone who, uh, who's gotten second now, myself. Uh, the BB wall is really strong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I'll hop in on Carp stream here. I, I took my leave of absence from the Waz Netplay tournaments before BB started entering, but he's been a consistent presence. Yeah. Alright, so I, I think we're ready to go whenever... Uh... The players are ready. Orange, if I recall correctly, is an Altenum player. Is is that correct? It is, yes. Okay. So he's we're going to get Altenum. A Hyde Altenum, yeah. Hyde Altenum? Okay. So we're going to get Hyde Altenum versus Carmine. Uh, Carmine Altenum is not a matchup that I've seen a lot of. Uh, have you seen much of it, Carp? I think I've seen Magnets and Spinach play, like, a first to three off of, like, some casual VODs from some major somewhere, but I'm not super familiar with it. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of Eltham just trying to get in on Carmine in neutral. 6B, uh, 623A puddle makes it really hard for her to get in and start pressing the buttons she wants to press. But Orange, I think, is pretty seasoned by now. Like, I, Orange is a name that I feel like I've seen around in the last year or so. So oh. we'll... We'll yeah. see how comfortable he is against uh, Falcon Man. And we got the dash going right into the Chicken Nugget 2B, as uh, Fendo used to call it. I thought 2A was the Chicken Nugget. That's more like a Chicken Tender. Fair enough. Got the side switch back. And now we have our first increase puddle. Double. Good block. Very good patience from Orange for that yeah. offensive cycle. Lots of strong pressure on the part of Falcon Man, but, you know, it only takes one throw, and then he's at the life deficit, but good my god. god. That I was a very he's... aggressive defensive 2A into command throw. Yeah, he's not at the blocking right now. He wants you to die. 
Uh-oh, counter hit. But unfortunately, Outnum was a little too thin. I know some characters do have some issues comboing Outnum because of her thin hurtbox. Yeah, she can be tricky. Okay, round one goes to Falcon Man. I think we're gonna see a lot more of the same stuff. He's playing very aggressively, just not giving Orange a chance to breathe, and I think that's smart. I'm not sure that Orange has all the Carmine answers uh, solved in his head yet, so the more times he gets to make him guess, I think the better. Good shielding from Orange. Oh, unfortunately he gives up his CS for nothing. Another counter hit confirmed. So we're going back to the corner. We're almost certainly going to see a setup. One, two. So are we going to see a double? Oh! Fuzzy breaker, yeah. That was a fuzzy breaker. Fantastic answer from Falcon Man. If you don't know why Carmines do empty jump 63A, it's because the timing of that messes with the normal block you do to block uh, rising assault ja or rising ja or uh, to be low and it will hit you if you try to do the normal block time yeah i'm actually not as familiar with that setup so it's good to know that i just sit there because i don't get fuzzied anyway thank god for man lertakotsky one frame one button instant reversal all right so we got the stagger cracking open falcon man here okay oh the J6 G6D. I don't see that a lot. But... The pseudo dive kick. Okay. Overhead. This is a lot of damage with the grid break bonus as well. Re jump. Uh uh uh. Yeah, Carmine hits right. like a truck. This is like 4.1. This 4 might be just for the round here. Oh, it's for sure against for Double. Good block on double. One more turn. A lot of meter generation. One. Oh, got him with the low, but no confirm. Command throw. That's really cheap. Old Faithful. It's super cheap if you have if you don't know the answer. It's cheap if you know the answer, but for different reasons. Okay. Orange being very patient on defense. Nice 5A challenge. Love to see that. Uh-oh. Air throw, yep. CS air throw. That's a really good starter for Outnum. There's gonna be a lot of damage. Uh, Orange has been struggling finishing his combos here, though. But this one is what I would have said. <laughs> Grid break throw. Yeah, caught his backdash. Fuzzy backdash on throw timing. It does true, beat true. raw throw. Okay. Interesting. So they play there. Trade. There we go. We got the gunshot. So it's another... hit confirms 236A with 236C. That's really great presence of mind by Orange. Mm -hmm. Falcon Man holding up. Sink. No, he was yeah. a little too late there. You Side don't get switch. to do that. And it. Damn, that did a lot. That did 34. Jesus. Yeah, Carmen hits like a truck. Has to be very careful. Of seeing or the hit confirm. This Orange, should don't jump. Yeah, yeah, he kept it, it really it. simple. Extremely simple. And we're at 1 1. Uh, Riddle ended up asking, What is the answer for command throw with the wheel out? And we will answer you after, after this. <laughs> Yep, we got you. Absolutely. So I wonder what the round start is. Uh, Falcon Man has been challenging Orange's dashes just like that, but we got the Rising JA dive kick. That's that's Carmine. That's not Rising. Oh, kind of hit confirmed, but unfortunate drop. Even so, we have a strong start from Orange. They're Falcon so, Man. <laughs> they're so the frequent and so fast. They feel less like drops and more like improvisational resets. Didn't even get the reload on it, so now Falcon Man getting closer to EX Carmine. Yo, this is a cool ass fucking combo. Okay. Has to be careful. Oh! Thought an overhead was coming, but just got hit. Alright. Prepare to damage. potentially guess for your life here, Orange. He definitely pulled. Oh. Held the uh... How oh my know? god! Good back step. Six oh, man. And Orange on set point. No meter, though. Okay. 
No. Wheel Oki. Yep. Delay frame trap. Yeah. Good DP. Oh my god, 2D! Double 2D! That's how they got on the too. Okay. So he finally gets to throw that. That's a, a dirty trap. Findo used to love doing that. That's like a 3 frame CS option. Good block! Although, he, I'm pretty sure he could have gotten a throw punish on that. That's minus 4. Doesn't matter. Overhead bringing it home for him, and now we are on that round. Gunshot start. Yeah. Falcon Man taking some aggressive round starts, but Orange finally kind of catching on to it. He wants some of his health back. Oh, no bait on the VO. Now he has to hold this. Oh my god, that popped him. Yeah, Elton ICJC. Uh, uh oh. I'm just watching. Back step gets breath. called out. If he finishes it, Sibo will send us the round. Doesn't even need to. Kept it simple with the double gunshot. Falcon Man, understandably so. He he really didn't want to hold that. He had a long grid break timer. But uh, unfortunately, dropping to Orange here, that's a relatively moderate upset, I, I would say. But we're going to get Orange Yaka in winner semifinals. Uh, Garn Bolts, who uh, defeated Smart Steer 2-0 on the other side. Uh, I think one of our losers top eight matches has been confirmed as well. That's going to be Smart Steer versus, um, I was about to call him Aura Dude. It's not Aura Dude. Bye, Jimmy. Yep. Uh, but we are waiting for Falcon Man Kille and uh, Mega is Decent versus Seijaku. Uh, we can probably run, I think, Garm Bolt here. It's a little awkward because the losers round uh, hasn't been confirmed quite yet. I think it'll all be ready by the time we get past everything, so we can have the top eight. So it's all good. Oh, we do have to answer Riddle from before. What is the answer for command throw with the wheel out? The answer is nine. Yep. So if Carmine has you in a block string and then is throwing out wheel into the X command grab, you can hold up forward and you will go over it and usually interrupt him with a jumping normal because the invulm on EX command grab is not super long. Uh, he has counterplay to this, of course, with 214C, uh, the move where he jumps up really fast and throws down all the blood spikes, which will catch you if you try to do that. Of course, if you do nothing, then you've countered 214C and he used 100 meter for plus springs he already had. Yeah, it. I mean, it's a knowledge check, but it's still really potent, depending on how they set their wheels on top of you. Because there are some, like, TK wheels that are meaty. There are some, like... I, I, like, get cracked by this, and I don't know if everybody else is the same way. But, like, Oki wheel into raw throw, where they're waiting for you, like, to try to shield, like, the wheel on Oki. I get cracked by that, like, at least once or twice every every time I play against Carmine. Yeah, it's a setup that simultaneously becomes weaker and stronger the more you get familiar with uh, the trajectory of different wheels because of this 214C option that has pretty high reward if you try to call him out for the EX command grab, which has pretty low reward, but, you know, if you're in a one-touch scenario, all reward is the game. Okay. So it looks like we are going to get Garm versus uh, Boltstruck here. Boltstruck is Mika? Question mark? Nanase Yuzuriha. Nanase. Oh, Nanase. Right, right, right. Bolt is Nanase. So we will get to see how Garm gets to deal with either Michael, or not Michael. Oh my god. Why do I keep thinking Mika? Bolt, <laughs> Boltstruck. He does have a Mika, but I would not advise him to pick it against me. Subs, but he, he's been saying he wants to make Mika less of, like, a sub or an alt character and more of just the character he plays when he doesn't 
feel confident in the hide matchup. It's pretty strong. Yeah, I think so too. I've played a lot against his, uh, his Mika. Dash throw, okay, so this is not a great start for him. Yep, 2A checks, but he's just gonna wait. Walk back 5B. Oh, but he gets whiff punished. Interesting ender. Okay. No meter. Honestly, really cool. Anti air 5B. That's so strong for Melissa. It has such a vertical hitbox for being so fast and so long. That was a very good call out. I thought the fireball was going to become active in time, but it didn't. A huge grid break 2 1 4 A. Decides to spin one. Block the assault JB. Delay, yeah. Delay CS, you have to be very careful. Oh my god, that was deep. 360. It doesn't kill because he doesn't have CS, but... The grid break is still pretty important. He's going to be able to make a couple different calls. Nice delay dash. I know sometimes uh, Libikichi will do the one where it rises up. And so she stops her momentum with like J JB. You almost do some like Akatsuki stuff. Nice anti-air 5B. Gonna take... No, not gonna take toward the corner. Going back to mid-screen. Interesting. Fuzzy... Fu or fuzzy 2A? Yeah. Looks like Garm is hard baiting potential CS situations. And Bolt is holding on to CS with dear life. Until now. Using it to start his offense off the dive. Unfortunate drop on Bolt's part. Yep. Garm gets to press 5B and now it's his turn. He has the corner. Okay, getting a little bit of extra damage on there. Good tech. Doesn't even better tech. Ah, oh, but he was too early. Good block on the double. Bo. Okay. Oh no! That was so close. Oh, oh we're going up, and that should be the round. Me? Actually, no, he's gonna need one more. I would love to see a potential DP from Bolt, but unfortunately, it's bonked on the head with up for JC. It's an unfortunate scenario for Bolt. He had him a couple different times, just failed to go the distance. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the round start? 6 6 V getting called out by Tornado. Good throw. Oh, finally got him. And the TRM, but no pickup off of that. Oh, that was kind of cheap. Yeah, I think Garm could have thrown him and Gridbury thrown him, but I think so too. Just didn't recognize the situation, I think. Uh, Bolt had control over the cycle. Yeah, he's gonna up back up forward to escape. Another throw. Ult struck. I'm it's kind of hard for me to describe what exactly Bolt Struck is doing wrong. Cause it feels like he's not really like giving up bad CSs or anything. It's just he's like losing exchanges over and over. Even I... though he starts this one with a really strong opener. Good break throw. Alright, there he capitalizes on Garmin Field's green shield. Yep. I think uh... What Bolt is doing is not taking up opportunities to capitalize on the things that he's seeing Garnfield choose. So he's choosing these mashout 2 Bs at really specific times, uh, and just kind of playing very safe, like 2A, 2A offense, which is potent, but not altogether super scary. I will say, after kind of the observation of his last couple combos, I feel like a lot of the non estates that I- Oh my god, Tornado Trade! Unfortunately, he's he would have eaten a big starter. Uh, he's gone more for mid-screen Okazime, where I think non puts so much pressure on Mika by just putting a fireball out there. Getting his ADP called out, and that is going to be it. Garm 
winning this two to zero. Well, Armfield, good stuff from both players. I don't think, I think Bolt would have had a much stronger showing in this matchup if he uh, maybe reacted and adapted his strategy to kind of the places where Garm was choosing to get out of his yeah. offense a little more. Yeah, I maybe think so. Maybe leverage a stronger offense. Yeah. I honestly believe that uh, stretching his Okazeme in stronger, like, sections, like, structuring his Okazeme where you force a decision out of Garm uh, and cornering him is probably where he will want to begin to adjust in the future. I don't think Nanase really wants to put people mid-screen for Okazeme. It, it doesn't feel like it's very strong. Yeah, blocking Nanase two ways mid-screen isn't super scary. Her throw isn't very threatening. Uh, it lets her set up her floor wind. What? That's such a stupid name. Why'd I call it? Uh, it lets her set up her fireball really quickly. Uh, but it doesn't do a ton of damage, and you kind of throw them out of range of anything scarier than Deadshot 2 c Yeah. I definitely agree with that. Up next, though, I believe we're going to have Yaka versus Orange. Uh, if you don't actually mind, uh, Cart, can we switch this to a first to two room so they don't they get auto sent back to title? Yes. So, considering that I I have heard that Hyde uh, Vatista is quite a difficult matchup for him. I wonder if we're going to see Eltonum uh, out of orange here. Not that, you know, Eltonum Vatista isn't also difficult. There's a little bit of a blueprint I think we've seen through Venice's uh, fights with Fox of where he's challenged uh, with DPs and various other options. So I'm interested to see what orange is going to choose to do against Yaka. I think this is a hard matchup for everybody, truth be told. Uh, navigating the neutral seems like it could be a little easier on Elton's part, given that you have the opportunity to stuff her projectiles with gunshots and EX cancel into laser. But Batista can do that too. I think you also have uh, probably some decent ways to challenge, like B-Ball with uh, Sink Through the Ball. And you do have long lows to at least try to start initiating offense with. We got the CS. Ball is going to come in. Not enough the blocks done. stays on screen. Yep. Very good call out on the back yeah, pass. Orange plate should have played June quite a bit. Uh, East Canada's resident Batista player, so it's not like he's unfamiliar with what's going on here. Wait, did you say June? Yeah, June. June is New York City. What? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's LP. Well, he used to be LP. He doesn't play this game anymore, so... Yeah. Good block on the drill. So, uh, the difference between June, I think, and, and Yaka in this case is... Yaka has a drill for every situation. Nice call out! And he had enough untech, even without counter hit, to initiate. All right. Orange coming in with the 6B. Going to be able to CS. Not quite there. Fuzzy dash out. Just gotta keep him out for five seconds. Shoot. 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 Okay. At least a little bit of extra meter. Running away. Okay. Yeah, that is good. one of the things you potentially can do, although uh, Batista retains a laser charge on forward, so maybe backdash is a little scary. Yeah, good to keep it safe. I don't want to overanalyze that timeout scenario, but oh, could be obeyed on Orange's part. But uh, I'm pretty sure Yaka had the opportunity to laser into IW and just win the round. Good yeah. throw. Green Shield came out, so he's going to guarantee that cycle. I want to see Orange climb the tree. Never mind, gets flashed. Flash That's it. fine. Gunshot, no CS! But still gets the throw. Hey, Orange, Orange, very strong showing so far. Yeah, seeming intimately familiar with the Batista. Mm -hmm. 
Counter hit to C is the first initiator. Oh no. But the cycle will go to orange. There's no way that he can get stripped here. Oh no. Try to 3C. 3 cad getting called out with jump gym. And there's the strip. Interesting that Yaka didn't try to shield that at all. 5A check. Still getting shot. Oh my god. I love gems. I love gem. I love gem. Okay, so Yaka is out of here. We are running. This is where Eltnum's pain party actually comes in. It's very difficult for her to cheat to chase these up back characters. She has to be very, very deliberate, I think. Gym Circus, but fantastic challenge on that particular one. Again, if you're aware, the safest a gym set can be is minus six. So if you are ready, you do have the opportunity to challenge the first gym. Not in that you sense, You could though. hear it killing a projectile out yeah. of the 30-something that are in Seaball. Okay. I feel like, no. Oh, what a call out! That's great. You gotta finish this. You need your Okazume. Force the CS out. Hit him! Oh, That's no! so unfortunate. I think force function got him there. Yeah. I'm not even sure what I think Orange could have done to hit him there. Maybe... I think force function. Oh, you're right. Force function, maybe sync is the call out, but maybe. Yaka tying it up. So far, I think we, we kind of get to see that Yaka seems like a kind of slow starter. You know, yeah, he, I think Yaka's taking one. his time to figure out the pace of the offense of all of his opponents so far. Mm -hmm. He's been a... Uh... Having kind of a struggle in neutral and on defense for these game ones, but really picking up the pace games two and three. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're going to combo breaker, definitely get some games in. We got the two high gyms into the drill. Not a whole lot of damage on this, but still we have the Okazume set up. So this is going to loop pretty well. Rejump. I love this combo. What a fucking cool combo. How many Bro. residuals is Suika getting paid for this set? Flash kick? No! Decided to challenge with the JA, air to air. Nope. Good shield, disabling the drill there. Good challenge. That was a potential 6 frame punish, he was just a little late. Gets his backdash called out, fantastic for orange, but A flash decides to concentrate instead. I'm surprised that orange didn't try to shield the ball at all. Yeah, he forfeits grid because of that. And now you have, you're only just now getting to work only against Satista, you're close to the corner. She okay, can walk you back there with gems. Things. Yep, shooting around the gym, that is uh, what I suggest as a Katsuki. Okay. Has to keep the route pretty simple, I think. Knock down, reload. Anti meaty. Yeah, the redash is not enough. And this is a lot of fucking damage. It might have killed if he finished it, but gym set 5A. Unfortunately, he was still a little too close to the gym. I think he tried to shoot. Yeah, tried to shoot, but he was too close. Yaka moving on into winner's finals, where he will play against Garnfield. Good stuff from both players. Really great adaptation again from Yaka. I feel like I've set him a broken record saying that every time he, you know, gets up. But he's just done a really great job of adapting to what his opponent is putting on the table. Absolutely, absolutely. Orange will uh, go into losers here, where he will play against the winner of Smart Steer and uh, by Jimmy. But I think up next we're going to get Seijaku versus Falcon Man. I feel like we're seeing Seijaku in all of the like Boomer EL matchups. We saw uh, 
you know, Merkava versus Fatista, and now we're seeing Merkava versus Carmine coming up next. I'm definitely interested in that. So, uh, kind of back on the subject of Yaka, Garm, I know that now you're waiting in winners' finals. Do you have yeah. any particular opinions about uh, Yaka? I'm, I'm cooked. I played him, like, earlier this week uh, on, like, his... Well, I mean, he was on bad Wi-Fi at the time. It was kind of stuttery, but he cooked me. So I'm, I need to... I'm thinking right now. I, I wasn't planning on thinking. I was just looking at Falcon Man and looking at Orange and, like, kind of praying. But, but now I have to... Now you have to do, yeah. do the thought process. Yeah. Well, I mean, you will have a 3 out of 5 to gain a couple pieces of information. Mm -hmm. I hope that you will be ready to... Uh... Oh, we don't need to change it yet. We're still playing uh, okay. our losers matches, but um, yeah, you will have some time to think, and you will. I mean, you have a couple different characters, but I think your character pool, maybe outside of Phonon, uh, has a yeah. little bit of difficulty against Fatista in this case. And yeah, uh, Brazil, if I recall correct, does have Phonon, so I think Yaka is going to be familiar with almost all of your offerings at this point. Maybe not Mika so much. Mm -hmm. He's saying you're cooked. Yeah, yeah I'm cooked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not quite saying that, but we will see how he will prepare. Uh, so we have Falcon Man in the room. We are now waiting on uh, Sage Aku at this point. This has been a really good tournament so far. For those who maybe aren't following along in the bracket, uh, Falcon Man had dispatched Kilamine 2-0, uh, and then Sage Aku defeated Mega's Decent, also 2-0. So now we got him in there, I will go ahead and pass. A new sacrifice comes to you. We should be able to get into it uh, as soon as they are ready. So I haven't actually seen this matchup since EL or, you know, some early ST sets as well. You know, Carmine wasn't particularly popular during the course of uh, ST unless you were watching Spinach. So I'm really curious to see uh, how this is going to go down. And don't forget, you know, early ST Fendo. But... That's true. But he, uh, he decidedly played Wagner against this character. I can imagine that's a lot more comfortable of a matchup. I can definitely see the problems where Carmine can struggle against Makava, specifically because of his crouching for Fox. Uh, tried to call him out with 5C, but unfortunately too slow. Good shielding, but the bomb was still there to protect him. Alright. One. Wanted a little bit of extra damage on that. No, guard thrust not quite the answer, but we got a bust out from Simpo. That was such a peculiar guard thrust interaction. I'm not sure what happened, but it's Simpo's turn. So what did he do? Over there. I think it was the startup of command throw, but something stopped it. Oh, it got... Yeah. It got eaten by babies. Yep. That is so interesting. And by interesting, I mean why, Kamame, why? <laughs> Speaking of why, we got the dive kick, Y-shaped, from Merkava here. Uh, 2 and 4 c potentially got stopped, uh, was Onyx Dude's potential question. Okay, slowing his pressure down, but... Merkava definitely had control over the cycle. Unfortunate drop. Falcon Man just looking for somewhere to get a hit in. He's trying not to burn himself dry by throwing only six Bs on offense, but there's not much you can do if you know they're not biting on anything. Senpai is going to take round two by playing extremely safe and just weathering the storm. Probably half of Falcon Man's life damage is dealt to him. So, with six Bs. 
I do like that uh, Simpo was also cognizant of uh, standing up against Carmine uh, 2 and 4C. Yeah, no shielding from Falcon Man, but he's just going to CS. Overhead blocked. Restart pressure. Double. Blocks the fuzzy. And the bomb is already off the table. Fantastic answer. That is good get. defensive sequence. You don't realize it because of the hit stop when you're blocking it, but it, it just goes so fast, so far for you. Overhead with the babies on top of it too. I've never seen this combo before, actually. All right, Falcon Man busting out with 6C. He said, get out of it. What are you doing up there? Oh my God. So we are going to save our Oki and that should be the game here. One, two, three, Arma and does there it is. so much damage, I keep saying. But you yeah. have to be so scared once you're lower than about like 4k life. Mm -hmm. Falcon Man really getting himself out of the jam, because that looked really dire for him. I wonder what uh, Simpo's adjustment is going to be. Defensively, I, I think he's probably very comfortable with his decision making. Heavy cycle lead for Falcon Man, but it's starting to swing a little bit. We could get a couple shields from Mashu. Oh. Dash anti air. Okay. Tried to fuzzy him off of that, but the shield pushed him out. Good shield. Okay. Trying to this... dissuade the low. That neutral situation seems really familiar. Senpo just not doing a great job of keeping his turn for more than a couple seconds against Falcon Man. Giving his turn back to Falcon Man's bust out 5Bs, 2Bs into wheel, and then just having to hold all this pressure. I will say again, uh, a lot of respect to Senpo's defeat defensive awareness. Getting himself out of trouble. Yeah. For as short of a time as he's having on offense, he's doing a very good job of not exposing himself to a lot of the Carmine cheapies that we might see. So Falcon Man is going to have to make something happen very fast, but he will have the benefit of CS. If Simple blocks this, this is the round for him though. Yep, no fuzzy killer. VL, this round is over. I don't think he really needed to VO yet but whatever gets you the round is necessary. Yeah, now he's uh, he has a round to burn, but being without meter as Merkava makes you a lot less scary than you could be. Mm -hmm. But again, we were talking about uh, even though offensively he's been having a little bit of difficulty, defensively, I don't think there's anything he's really lacking. Guard thrust, fantastic. Yeah. I'd love to see that answer. He has these really good guard thrusts. He's blocking most of I think he's blocked every fuzzy so far. Fantastic backdash to get him out of that situation. And now he's taking to the air. Yep, trying to walk back and get something out of him, but Simpo's really patient. Finally gets cracked open. Plus two, and there's nothing you can do about it. That was a fantastic 5A. Alright. Good throw! So that's a nice defensive or offensive adjustment from Falco Man. If you're going to sit and wait, I'm going to force you into situations where you can't. I think Falcon Man tried to 214C over his low posts, but they just hit too meaty. Right. Oh, this is go. a big starter. This should be a lot of damage. And the babies are assisting. Good ender, that's not an easy combo. That That's three quick hits, that's it. Yeah. That should be it. CVO if he wants it, but he's just going to guarantee 63C. A another very impressive round from Simpo. Yeah, that was that was a Merkava round all right. Yeah. Yep, yep. That was really good. So we're going into the final game. 6-6C. Unfortunately, Falcon Man wasn't quite ready to punish on the other side. Bust out with 2B. It's kind of amazing how much mileage Falcon Man gets. Busting out with relatively mediocre uh, defensive options from Carmine. 
Good shield, guard thrust. But unfortunately, he gets caught mashing. He's not going to get this next cycle. Okay. One, two. So what is the setup? Double? No. Uh, There's the fuzzy killer. Yeah. Not so successful on defense the second time around from Senpo. And now it's match point to Falcon. Oh, 5B. I will say this, sorry. Uh, I talked about quote-unquote mediocre defensive uh, mashes from Carmine. But Carmine 5B is a problem. It's difficult yeah, to deal with. It is very strong. Any uh, advancing normals in this game tend to be very strong because of how they position your hurtbox relative to what you're throwing out. Mm -hmm. I really like the the 5C there. Yep, we're going to get some health back. And the cycle is guaranteed for Falcon Man. Then pose him. That's an in I like the guard thrust. He knows that he just needs his turn, and that's it. Yep. Shielding the dive kick high is going to be the end here. Simpo so, put up a fantastic fight, but it wasn't quite enough. He did a very good job. I think I can pinpoint the exact moment where he made the mistake that probably cost him the last round. If we rewind like about 20 seconds from the end of the round, mm -hmm. he back techs into a wheel and then presses CS on Waco. But I think if he saved it and chose to wait for like CS 2 through 6C or Guard Thrust, just get out of Falcon Man's pressure, he had a much higher likelihood of just not being in that situation. Absolutely. I think one of the things uh, I've talked to God Hunter, uh, God Hunter about is uh, Merkava's Okizeme less offense is not non threatening, but I think kind of in the same vein as Yuzu, he's more attuned to getting you to, like, lose yes. for him. Mm -hmm. He so, really has to put himself out there. Absolutely, absolutely. His best rebeat is minus four. So you have to you have to do what you're doing with confidence. And so I, I wonder if that kind of factors into it. You saw that um, Falcon Man had very high confidence kind of busting out with 5B, 2B, and like, I think 5C, or excuse me, uncharged 6C, if he was taking to the air with like 3C flight or something like that. Um, that might be one of the few weaknesses for this character who's like very all around strong, I think. But yeah. uh, I, now I we're, oh, go ahead. The fr I think the fragility of meterless Merkava on offense is especially apparent in a matchup like Carmine, who does very well without meter on offense. Mm -hmm. But he gets the hit. Yeah. Uh, up next here, now I believe we're just waiting on uh, Jimmy to come into the lobby. Yeah, Falcon Man saying uh, 60 go bear against Merc, which makes sense. Uh, you also have a lot of good well you have a good answer for uh approaching lows which is another strong point of merkava carmine is like okay i mean i have a couple projectiles that i can get you to block i have a pseudo dive kick myself with uh up back j6b uh so there there are plenty of answers if he needs yeah. it really good like default os options with 3 bad But uh, this particular matchup is not a very good one for Mika. Uh, I know when I talked to Libby yeah. Kichi and, and some of the other Mikas as well, I think this is like maybe in the top two or three worst matchups that she has. Uh, Hyde being particularly bad too. Yeah, Jimmy getting really unlucky with his bracket draws. Yeah, I can I definitely know. see that. It All of Mika's advantages kind of fold to... 4A5B's Shining Might. So I'm interested to see... Uh, Ori, I think, sometimes is a little weak to whiff punishing. Mika is one of the fastest characters in the game. Uh, defensively, I think Ori uh, doesn't have... I mean, she has 5A, but kind of unlike the Akia, it doesn't feel as strong. But we do have a strong start here from Smart Steer. Yeah, 
Doesn't shield the double overhead. Oh my goodness. Yeah, cheapies. He's so scared to, to potentially shield. Oh my <laughs> god. He should be dead. Yeah. He's... CS? No. Jimmy getting very greedy. Nope. Oh, he missed the micro dash 5B. Oh my god, that obliterated 5C? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't understand Mika J's hurtbox. Hitbox. It's <laughs> Mika J is actually amazing. It's so bizarre. Yep. Tick throw off of minus four. Has to be very careful. Ah. Oh. I would like to see Smart Steer maybe leveraging uh, JC a little bit more against Mika. That's probably the missing sauce so far. Double overhead. Rising JA double overhead. That's. That's I the wonder most if that only control. works on Mika because of the way she crouches. It works on almost everybody because that the is... JA isn't overhead. That's really interesting. Yeah. That's like Gusu Gusu's. Like one of his favorite tricks. Yeah, I've never seen them. I really like the delay cancel on the 5C, forcing a, a decision out of Smart Steer. That was it super... is minus seven, but you know you have delay cancels for that too. Yeah, it's super super, super good patience from Smart Steer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, pushing himself out. Oh no, caught him moving. JCS? JC oh! <gasps> Never mind. Slight mistake. Yeah, so we're gonna wait. We're not gonna aggress too crazily. Yeah. Good choices from Smart Steer. Yeah, this is the warning that I think Mika doesn't like. Overhead! Oh, no! so unfortunate. <laughs> That was the game right there! Unfortunate drop for Smart Steer. I don't know how that scales, but oh, yeah, it was certainly close. I know that Hyde and Ori's IWs don't scale so well as Enders because they start combos, but it definitely could have been I think that that was most certainly going to kill. Uh, Ori's routing off of, or at least the routing that he was choosing to go for, is pretty high damage routing. Nice. Good punish. Once the mid screen positioning. And this is exactly where Mika does not want to be. Oh. Very near drops for Smart Steer. Bye, Jimmy. Is going to get the corner here. Yep. Walk back with punish. Yep. Delay high. Yeah, fails the fuzzy guard. We have red beats. Yeah. Empty jump low, that's gonna be around to Jimmy. Mm -hmm. That's cheap. I, I really hate having to block that. I really, really hate having to block that. It's certainly annoying on every character that can do that kind of setup. Mm -hmm. Smart Steer's combo uh, decision making is slightly off, and I think that's really the big difference in the set so far. Nice. I love this route. One, two, three. Oh, up for it, JA. If he confirmed, I that was the weirdest OS I've ever seen. Yep. All right, Jimmy uh, having a pleasant time up there at the top of the screen. Oh, you can strip off of that. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Just do it again. But again, dropping these combos. And like you said, it's, it's the decider in these sets when they're going down to the wire like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, he actually kind of crossed up with that. Good shield. Oh my god, that's so scary. Nice throw. So that's going to guarantee the cycle for him. Oh, but he whiff punishes him at 2 p 60 Alright, what are you going to do? Yeah. It's not invincible. invincible. <laughs> what are you doing? Get down from there. Okay. Thought he was going to challenge with the dash block potentially, or maybe that was thrust. Awesome. Oh, 3v was too late. 
Yeah. I really wanted to see a shield on the JA. I did too. Okay, but he was able to get out. Yeah, no, no that's, that's not, not gonna the work. Answer. Sorry, Jimmy. Yep. Nice call out, and he picks it up. That Is he going to finish it? There pick. we go. Huge pickup. So, that was a fantastic pickup. Go ahead, Bart. Uh, I wanted to cut in real quick and talk about the missed input, but if Jimmy did the EX tornado follow up there instead of 214C, he actually would have beat Ori there and then gotten to convert and won. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a really unfortunate miss input. Mm -hmm. Gets called out on the thrust. Very unfortunate starts here. We got the rejump. That would have been a lot of damage. Good tech. Smart Steer finally feels like he's kind of catching his element here. Yeah, it feels like he's had a chance to catch his breath, come into his own. Yep. Good shielding and good punish. That should be the round. Might need to CS to do it though. Yep. Gets a bit of extra meter back and now Smart Steer on set point. He has to be very careful. I'm smelling a 2 on 4 coming soon. Oh! Oh no. So unfortunate. He definitely did not want that. Even more unfortunate for Bai Jimmy. He kind of gets away with uh, not taking a lot of damage for that. Yep, out of here. Reestablishing the position, but 5A? Is that some Guilty Year stuff? Ramlethal with punish? Good answer from Bai Jimmy. That was probably a 360. Yeah. Good throw. Yeah, he was waiting on the shield. Didn't give it to him, but the delay 2B. 2B counter. Alright, match point. Yeah, tornado. Uh oh, by Jimmy already establishing himself again. Smart Steer has to survive this. He, yeah, good shield. Swinging the cycle, but unfortunately still gets picked up. Never mind. Almost gets the whiff punish. Oh, 5B getting called out with 6-6B. Smart Steer has not punished these whiff force functions from Jimmy a couple times now, which is really surprising given you, you have B thrust. You, you can just do it. This isn't going to kill, but this is basically guess for game. Yeah, Jimmy trying to come over here. There we go. No! Oh. No! Oh, oh, Smart Steer. Oh. I know what he wanted. He wanted the Micro Dash 5B because that's untech all the way to the ground. He but... knew what he had to do. It just didn't come together. Yeah. And Jimmy kind of scrambled him, I think, in that, that last round. You know, the, the call out on the up back persona, you know, that was the call out on like 6 6B round start, but he was like, fuck it. It's time to tornado and I'm over here. But yeah. Good run for Sart Sneer. Unfortunately, it's going to end at 7th place today. Uh, we're going to get Elton versus Mika later, but uh, I think... Are we running uh, Bolt Falcon Man first here, or are we running Winner's Finals? No, we'll be running uh, Bolt Falcon, yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep going in Losers. This is Losers right. Top 6. Uh, we got Bolt versus Falcon Man. So... Not to say Carmine, this is something I, I have seen a little bit more, but I can't say that I'm uh, particularly seasoned in the nuances between these characters. Nuances, not nuances. Yeah. Uh, mm, go ahead. Nanase has, uh, I think, a lot better of a time uh, pressuring Carmine than Carmine has pressuring Nanase. I think any character with a meterless DP, uh, if they know how to use it, tends to put a really big onus on Carmine to bait that out. Otherwise, Carmine as a character is very vulnerable to shield DP. Um, actually, if you don't mind, Garm, I'm going to swap with you for this round of losers, uh, and I'll take back over in top four, uh, just so you can get some some more calm in here with, uh, Gar or with Carp. Excuse me. Because we have two sets before you still have to play two, I believe, Garm, if you're around. He's hitting the showers. Uh-oh. Taking a short break here. I'll ping him, see if he's around. Yep. Probably should have mentioned that before I just called out to him. 
Either way, we're going to get Nanase versus, oh, very likely Nanase versus Carmine. I don't think Bolt is going to choose to play his Yuzu here. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I don't think Yuzu Carmine is any worse than a 50-50 for either character, but I do think that it places a pretty important like knowledge check on the Yuzu player to know how to navigate Carmine neutral, specifically increase 6B. He was just here, so we can give him like a couple minutes to uh, see if he comes back, but if not, we'll just play the game. Yep. I'm also cool with just continuing in. I don't mind it. Oh, oh we got Garm? Sorry, I, I ran to the washer. Yep. That is a-okay. So I'm going to swap with you for these next two uh, Losers Top 8 games, okay. uh, and I'll come back for Top 4. Alright, so we got Falcon Man versus... Uh... Bolstroy. What do you think, Gar? Uh, these guys like to hit buttons. <laughs> so we're going to yeah, see a yeah, lot yeah. of buttons. Uh, not to say Carmine, I was talking earlier, but, you know, it really just depends on how uh, familiar Bolt is going to be with, like, spots he can shield DP, stuff he can, like, ADP out of Carmine. There's a Byakuya on the screen. Okay. Well, what? Falcon's going Byakuya. Uh, I don't know, I know this match gets played in Texas a lot, I know Masoma yeah. and Great Faden, but like... Well, I if Texas don't... is anything to go by, I believe Yakir is favored in this match. <laughs> yes, truly... <laughs> not, not just because of Masoma, <laughs> but because uh, a BM actually does quite well into Great Faden as well, from what I recall. Oh yeah, so... he's there too. What? You just forgot about the homie? Alright. Yeah. Uh, really interesting Assault Jump B. Going over the Byakuya 2 the and him from the other side. Okay, Midi throw. Oh, wow! Bolt is crazy. He's going for these like very hard reads right now. Okay. It's paying off. Falcon Man. Yeah. Oh. Alright, um, maybe not paying off so much. If Falcon Man can... Okay. Uh, anyway, back to Bolt's turn here. Interesting backdash. Uh, dash me catching the stand-up. Probably like a micro walk back from Bolt. Yeah, not so imagine. sure that's the option you should be taking against Byakuya on defense. But Falcon Miss... Man just... I think back. he wanted to change it. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's it. <laughs> increase 3C does not land. Okay, nice. Oh, he's this kind of Byakuya, I see. This is not a lot of damage, so hopefully Falcon Man can finish combo. Into Could you not have inferred people. that from the way he plays Carmine? <laughs> I feel I like there's know. a failure of the researcher to gather adequate data. Listen, people can change personalities completely uh, depending on which character they play. You know? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad. All right. Oh, Falcon Man keeps going for like these Rekos. It would be nice to see Bolt go looking for uh, DPs here, especially on the ones that are a bit closer. That uh, after works. Rekos. Yeah, that works. Bolt has Cycle here. Uh, whiffs the increased Fireball. Nice 2 through 6 c but Byakuya doesn't get very much off of this. Yeah, not without it's meter. Close. Okay, not plus without three. Oh! Just didn't block 6 6 b in time. Falcon Man is just playing Kai. Falcon Man... He's, he's, he's got Stun Dipper he's on He's playing Shift Xana. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing his, uh, his go to the top of the screen J2Cs. He's teleporting. Okay, nice. Oh, fish us out the, the shield here. Yeah, the shield wow! Bolt! No VO. Do not VO now. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Bolt is so prepared for uh, whatever uh, defensive options Falcon is going to throw. It's a shame that he keeps eating these dash bees. <laughs> okay. Wub. Yeah. Oh. These command grabs and 6-6-B, it feels like Falcon Man has like a daily challenge to land 6-6-6-Bs in one match for a thousand rip. 
<laughs> yeah, he's about to cash in for, yeah. for the rip right now. He's like, all right, I lost, but I mean, I finished my dailies. Yeah, I finished my dailies. Yeah, these, these commandograms are working out very well for Falcon, and it's just unfortunate that he can't finish the, uh, like, a combo or a simple one just into a knockdown, because he's, he's, he's eating a lot of damage for dropping these. He's landing all of them, but yeah. they're not really huge reward, and he's not putting the uh, bolt strike in, like, Nanase and Byakuya Oki after them. He's yeah. just kind of letting him attack and like, okay, well, now you, well, can, block, now you can block a mid 2A. That was a sick hover. Yeah, that, uh... Just, made just me load sick. out of Santex. <laughs> uh, range. Okay. Wow, that caught oh, up. Uh, unfortunate drop. Oh, oh pause champ? We're back in the Monosei combo. Oh, I should be watching the stream. Oops. Okay. Bolt just keeps fishing out these shields. Wow. Huge whiff punish. No, honestly, it's oh, never mind. What is he about? This is the offensive patterns. Can be at mm. Yakima has like 15 seconds realistically to get a hit here if he wants to win the round. Yeah, Yaki and Molin. Oh! Yeah, maybe not the right spacing for that. Bolt. Uh, it, it is! Mm, oh no. That yeah, it was looking happened. tough. That, that did happen. <laughs> <laughs> Things happened. You can't, you can't just shield like that uh, in this region, you know? But uh... Nice try by Falcon. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder if he doesn't like this matchup. Uh, or if he doesn't like the uh, Karma and Nanase matchup. It's so peculiar to me because not only do I not understand why you wouldn't like the matchup that much to switch to a character you're definitely not as familiar with, I don't know who would have put that fear of God into him. Oh, I know who. Is it you? So, no, it's Icekin. Lord oh, Icekin. Ice yeah. Simon. I never see him on. Simon, the, the sleeping god of East Canada. He doesn't yeah. ask, he doesn't like, I get pinged whenever somebody asks for games in Canada court. I, We're only I don't allowed see our placements uh, because Simon is taking a break. Mm -hmm. you know, There's a, a hidden channel and you kind of can't see it because you're not Oh, because I'm not so. a true Canadian. I'm sorry. Yeah. You Maybe know if you're in there. Run in my blood. Oh, Simon just pinged me asking for $20. I'll be right back. I need to... That is <laughs> nice. I see. So, Falcon is saying Karim not to say sucks, and Bolt knows the Karim matchup. However, Nanase Byakuya is an annoying 50 50 matchup. Like, a lot of the same ways that, like, Byakuya hates, like, Yuzu or Orie, I think Nanase only highlights the things that Byakuya doesn't particularly like to fight against. Uh, so it, it was an interesting choice uh, to go to Byakuya, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think the matchups Byakuya doesn't like can be defined as people I can't hit 5A that much against. But I'm. I think that Nanase just like fights him really well. We don't have like. Like, if I'm yeah. being real, then Nanase doesn't have, like, the cheapies to roll around. Nanase cheapies are kind of, like, I don't know, they're kind of mid. The other thing is, Falcon Man does have a functional set, but that's also not a great matchup into Nanase. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a very important. nuanced one. Who is this sleeper S-tier character that has no bad matchups? Except for against funny mid-tiers like Akatsuki. Is the Nanase Akatsuki matchup, like, that Aka favorite? Uh, it is, I think, definitively a Katsuki favorite. That's but... so interesting. I've never seen anyone play it, so... Well, uh, I will shill just a tiny bit. If you're interested, I literally oh, just Oh, you're played... gonna see uh, you in Toxic, huh? Yeah, I just played Toxic. It's on YouTube. Uh, I've played Wish. There's there's a lot of Nanase versus Akatsuki on my side. Uh, I feel pretty confident uh, in that particular matchup against almost any Nanase in the world. So, there's some nuances, though. Anyway, it's not about me. It's about uh, Orange versus By Jimmy. I just kind of popped in. 
Hi, oh. Jimmy. Keeping it in there. And this is going to be interesting. I wonder if we'll see Orange stick to Eltonum here versus Vi Jimmy. Because, um... Uh, he, he has self-admitted that, um... Mika is a troubling matchup for him. He does have a sub-hide. Um, I don't know how confident he is in it. Uh, because he's been playing hide into my Mika, and I know how to counterplay hide with that character a little bit. So we'll, we'll see what decision he makes here. As soon as Jimmy gets in this room. I'm going to make a request. Uh, Ju, Garm, if you could take the reins for this match, I need five minutes to freshen myself up. So. Yep, more okay. than happy to. I'll leave it to you. Hop back in. Hey, Carp is um, going to go patter his nose. Okay. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Got to pick some flowers for a little bit as the goes. <laughs> uh, for those who weren't maybe watching uh i know waz lives under night bracket had just finished up uh t wang won i think after a reset against lufo uh three oh. to one so i think t wang has gotten his first tournament uh in new york so oh congrats good stuff to him yeah congrats he had a lot of strong answers for phone on i had the uh the dual stream up when i wasn't commentating um but i'm very excited for this orange versus Jimmy set, I like hope that orange. I don't know if it's like tournament nerves or maybe uh, maybe some connection instability. Orange has a lot of really good answers, but like the combos just aren't really going into the the Oki that he wants. It seems like. Ah, it could be a bit of. Oh. Is it Twang instead of T Wang? I always called him T Wang. T Wang sounds funny. I'm gonna go with T Wang from now on. Oh, it, it is Twang. Uh oh. Twang. Okay. Oh no. So it looks like Jimmy won the matchup last grid breakfast. Oh. Um, I can't think of any particular reason why I think you know. So, I'll preface this by saying that I think Eltonum is the worst character in the game. Mm -hmm. But um, in this particular matchup, I I can't say that I feel like there's a lot in particular that I think Elton doesn't like here. So it, it goes back a little bit to um to Elton's like a lot of Elton's good pressure tools being lows. Um Mika has some answers to Elton having like having low pressure. Like her three B is actually quite good to match out with against Elton. And yeah really I, I think that, that really sums it up for me at least. Mm-hmm I will say that um, Eltonum's re like plus frame reset points, uh, like you know charge gunshot, charge down gunshot, is really susceptible to get shielded. And I would imagine that she doesn't love that Mika has a six frame bust out option. Mm -hmm. So like maybe the the frame data distinction is something that she doesn't really love to fight against. You know, kind of the same as Akka in some sense, because like Mika has identical speeds but with that uh six frame option there's uh probably a little bit more in the boxing range that Elton might not like but i don't think mika loves gunshot at all and i don't think she loves sync either so yeah where is jimmy <laughs> yeah where is jimmy did Jimmy actually go by? Is he out of here? Oh, no. I'm hoping he's here in like the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Be nice. I hope he didn't go off to like dick around and strive. He's like fighting. Oh, I made sure he wasn't streaming because sometimes he like plays rank between sets in the tournaments. I have to like catch him in the rank gap match. Yeah. It looks like he's not streaming. Anyway, I hope, I hope Orange. Uh... As well here because I, I last locals I played like twenty games of Mika versus him so <laughs> yeah very rude of Jimmy to just beat up Smart Sphere and then leave right oh where's this guy I <laughs> turned three sixty degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Cringe, like, yeah, 
I beat this Orie. This is too cringe. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah, come on. Come on, Mr. Uh, Leiko Jiggle Physics. We need you. Uh, while we wait, we should, we should, you know, talk about the Matcharino a bit. Absolutely. It's currently sitting at $105, so, you know, Garm, that might be a nice little bonus for you, assuming that you're able to dispatch Yaka and the rest oh, of them. The oh, clan. boy. Um, you know, maybe a big ask, because Yaka has really strong adjustment uh, so far <laughs> in these tournaments. Yeah, that matchup is really tough. I don't know if I really want to run my subs the more I think about it. I kind of want to just play, play like, the games versus Atista. Regardless of when I lose at this point. I don't think so he I'll, had, I'll, hmm? I don't think he had uh, a memory lapse and thought he lost to Smart Steer, right? Oh, is that what he said? <laughs> no, I'm just thinking like... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's in a bracket? Jimmy! What? Oh my god. Jimmy! That's actually amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's on melee right now. Knots, when are you uh when are you seeing me in Fox Chic? I assume you play Fox. Jimmy is really out here. Jimmy... Casually juggling brackets. Jimmy's kinda nuts right now. He's kinda nuts with it. I won by the way, hee <laughs> hee. Jesus Christ. I hate this guy. <laughs> this guy is something else. We should we should find Jimmy like like they do in the big leagues, you know. He, yeah. He's taking like five eight minutes from all of us. You should pay each of us like yeah. If you get into the sandwich. exactly, it's like sorry Jimmy. If you get into the money, it's forfeited to <laughs> Axel because he he waited for you. You wasted his time. Or finding you whatever the the third place or the second place. I feel bad for like winter side. They've been so cold for so long. Exactly. And then and then and then Axel can use the money to buy us all ten bits. So oh, true. No. Timbits at the next meetup. I think the only thing I've ever gotten from Tim Hortons in like so long is just ice caps. Oh, ice caps are so good. Yeah, though. ice caps are like That's the definitely only the, thing. Left. If you could only get one thing from Tim Hortons, it would be ice caps. I definitely. So, like, I'm a big sucker for hazelnut. Mm -hmm. So, I hit up the hazelnut ice caps like hard, buddy. I love, love them. All right. So, now we do have twitch.tv slash by Jimmy. Uh, but we game. need we need Carp to be back here to pass. Yeah. Wait a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Carp so haven't started. Oh, I'm back. Oh yeah, please set pass, Carp. Right on time. So actually, uh, you don't have to wait for me anymore. You can hop back in. Bye, Jimmy. Took a long time. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Time to do commenting. All right. So um, I mean. Regardless of whether or not Eltnum has trouble with this matchup, I know Orange has trouble with this matchup. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. Really interested to see. Wow, backdash. How Jimmy is gonna navigate these buttons. Yep. Oh, I, I feel like Orange could have mashed there because uh, Jimmy was gonna land on the other side. But that's fine. Gonna get attack here. Okay, gunshot. Full purple. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what Shishishi was talking about earlier. Jimmy's shielding the increased gunshot and then kind of forcing yeah, the only a six frame gap there, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright. Why does it. No. Nice. Nice. Uh, taking some time to change it for like 12 meter. Always worth it if you can do it. Nice. Oh. Could have gotten more off of that, but Orange really letting the six Bs rip, and both of them have like given him a lot of value so far in this uh, game. He's trying to squash the bug. He's right. mad at him for making him wait. Oh no! Yeah. Delay time? Delay time kind of broke. Delay takes though. over power. Oh. Wow. Wait. Interesting choice, but yeah. It I works. mean, it is it is a combo worth of damage. Oh yeah, nice. You know, so like that's one thing play. Orange has gotten really good about is uh, the counterplay to uh, Tornado EX Missile. It just doesn't counterplays at all, but doesn't 
land any of the combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's... Okay. Really, really odd uh, DP connection. They're only getting two hits out of the BDP. Yeah. Can Elden combo after her ADP? Can she spend meter or something? Yep. Yeah. All right, Orange with a uh, quick game one here. Let's see if we can keep it up. Wow, nice tag. That's such a funny air-to-air -air button every time. You know, I think Jimmy might still be in stride mode a little bit here. He's certainly very he, active. Yeah, he's flying around a lot. That defense right was not faultless. <laughs> Alright. 4k, wow. Nice tech. Dropkick gets dp Yeah. Orange seems pretty in his head about what Jimmy wants to do on defense. Mm. Oh, oh nice! Man. Oh, no punish. Okay, Jimmy is just going all out. Oh. Oh, wake up dp kills it. Yeah. Jimmy! This, this is... I... I... Okay, Jimmy does... I, what? He did the double tea bag. Oh, wow. Um... Jimmy's this is playing very modern... hard to commentate. I need a raise. Jimmy's playing Modern Warfare and Orange yeah. is playing Medal of Honor. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's a. Uh... Jimmy is cashing in his UAV right now. He knows exactly what Orange is gonna do. Oh! Uh, oh my. There goes the Predator missile. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lots of damage here. Doesn't meter. Oh, oh wow, wake up! Uh... Sir. He just didn't. Oh! oh! Wait, is this it? Yeah, Thank that's you. it. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. uh, is that 2 0 Orange? Jimmy, hold it for him. Goodbye. Jimmy needs to boot on Strive right yeah, now. Yeah, good luck at the Strive oh, tournament. Yeah. He's, he's probably being called for Strive. That was All the right. most video game I've ever seen. I'll, I'll be right back. I need to run to the washroom. Indeed. Again? Um, so, we're... You know, after after watching that display, I think uh, that gave Garm a little bit of incontinence. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> jokes aside, we're going to start transitioning to our, our top four. Uh, we'll have winners up first with uh, winners finals. We'll need uh, Yaka to go ahead and pop into the room whenever he is available. Excellent. Are all these sets first to three? Uh, only uh, only the winners. Winners finals only, and losers finals. Yeah. Well, losers. Uh, so the the fourth place game is not. Yeah. Yeah. We can change it for this, and then we'll have to change it back for the next set. I think uh, Garm wants to get all of the, the potential distractions out before he has to fight Fatista for all right. minimum three yeah. games. He's, uh, he's cleaning himself out so he doesn't shit on these kids too hard. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just came back to this? Oh, yeah. man. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to need Yaka to, to go ahead and join. I think uh, Axel maybe is yeah has gone ahead and added. Yaka, yeah, so. I don't need to use the uh, the toilet. I just need to scream in the mirror a little bit. You know, I gave myself a bit of the uh, yeah, recreating yeah. the opening scene of American Psycho real quick. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Let's see. I use the light machine. Anyway, get out of here. Focus yeah. on your your set here. We're gonna get hide Vatista, perhaps as expected here. I'm very interested to see if. Garm is going to be able to block the the drills. I want to say that Yaka doesn't have um, hasn't shown a huge amount of like zoning patterns. Yeah. So I think that if Garm yeah, takes his time and picks his spots, he should be able to to get some footing here. Yeah. If the evolution lines of the Tista are Fox of Forty Two and Suika, Yaka is certainly the latter. He, he wants to make you guess. He wants to use gems, he wants to hit flash kick, and most of all, he wants to do drill setups. 
I will say that there's a forgotten third aspect. We do have the uh, Michael style, the very, very patient defensive. Uh, puts you in crappy neutral situations over and over. Yeah, I've always seen that as kind of like the Pokemon yellow of Vatistas. That's fair enough, yeah. Hide laser, no confirm though, but we got the trade. So now at this point, Garm just has to make sure he protects himself as much as possible. Don't give up any drills, yeah. Oh no, he extended his hurtbox with the the bin sinister. There's the drill. So this is what Yaka needed to get in here. Another drill. I that has to be a flub on Yaka's part. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate, but we're going into round two. Gets hit right off the bat with the TTB. I think Garm was maybe a little nervous, uh, because you do get a 7 frame punish off of the drill, so hide 5A could have been the confirm there. Oh my goodness, what? Um, okay. I'm not entirely sure what he was doing there. I'll have to ask Yaka, we're gonna have to see what's up with that. Yep, pushed out, so this that was death. going to go he's ahead. Dead. Yep, 2B. Um, he's keeping it simple, okay. I can respect it. Maybe he wanted to play for the cycle? I'm very surprised. Oh my god, DP immediately! Let's go, that Isaac. Is certainly the Garm there. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't IW there. Yeah, I definitely think he could have killed him if he'd done a stronger route into IW. That was looking like a lot of damage. Hide corner combos don't scale very quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, caught him with the delay to C. No backstep for you. Hide 6-6-C six, six, is out here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I like this uh, spaced out pressure from Hyde. Really doesn't want to put himself in too many bad spots. That's and a one in a million. Assaulting over 2B is so hard. Yeah. If there is a potential weakness for Vatista, I will say that if she's stationary and trying to... Uh, not quite... If she's stationary and trying to bust out, she does have some slower options once you get out of uh, 5A range. That was pretty cheap. Cheap, shielding. just not landing the reward. Not finishing his combos. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, I saw ADP's that one coming. ADP. I stopped talking because I knew he was doing it. Yeah. So Garnfield really exhausting all of the uh, funny ha-has to try to get the edge out on Ryaka. Hey, it's an online bracket. Yeah. Gotta make it count. I think even offline, if you're not quite ready oh, with, yeah. to it's punish. All brackets, you have to be ready for all of the funny ha because you only get so much opportunity to adapt. Mm -hmm. Nice! Horizontal reversal. Let's go, Palebringer. Yep. And Let's this, this a, is like 4K. A flash a kick C drill. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Unfortunately, Yaka has dropped it two times today. Assaulting over the 2C. Alright, so this is basically kind of a guess for game scenario. Doesn't get hit with the, the CBO funny. Text the throw too. But gets thrown anyway! The back Yaka throw prevented him from dying. Yep. But Yaka has an uphill battle with fight right now. It, it, yep. It's looking good for him, but... Oh. There it is! Could that be it? It's not a good... Okay, that's yeah. it. Last one. He tried to delay tech, but it still didn't matter. Garm so Yaka is... on the board, finally. That was pretty awkward. We heard the clash. Yep. This is like the hell part of this matchup. There's a gym out. You have to neutralize the gym. And he was able to do it this time. Uh oh, grid break. This hurts. More full force function. Yeah, this is about the, the second touch in a three touch scenario. Hyde doesn't have enough meter, I think, to. No, he's gonna kill him here. CS? Oh, no! Drop. All right. Yeah, P2B. Garn killed up 2-0. He was saying Yaka was smoking him in casuals, but maybe it's just Yaka's so far trademark kind of slow adaptation into completely dominating the next three games. I 
will say one of the things that I observed uh, of him versus Yuno in particular is uh, his transition from kind of playing a traditional Batista game into patiently picking his spots has been very, very good. And I think we're going to see more of this. However, I don't think he's too familiar with, uh, you know, Hyde's ability to clash projectiles. Oh, no. No, darn. Uh, Which BDP is going to get a DP punish for his trouble. Almost 3.3. Yeah. I will say one of the things that I always try to advise at least Akatsuki's in the mirror, in the Vatista mirror, or excuse me, matchup, nice 6 c is you never want to early anti-air Vatista. She has way too many options at her disposal. You want to delay as much as you can. Yeah, for sure. Aerial drift plus being able to stall herself out in the air makes it really, really tricky. Yeah, ball is still coming. So we got the setup. Yeah, that was too close. Yaka with some very good patterns now. I can't oh, help. what a confirm! Yeah, gems. Counter hit B-ball. It's gonna do that. I can't help but feel that Garm is kind of forsaking the patterns that led him to victory in the first two games. Yeah. Oh my god, EX Flash caught that? It's very horizontally wide. Yep, concentrate. Good tech. Yeah, I feel like maybe Garm has shown his hand uh, a little too early, potentially. Yaka looking comfortable, but... Ooh. Batista's health still... Oh... That yeah. sucks. Everybody so, knows that feeling. Yeah, if you want to air-to-air -air Batista, you have to be very preemptive. You have to commit to that pretty early. Yeah. Good tech. 5A immediately. That move should be 7 frames. I'm on his I finger. <laughs> yep. He stopped concentrating. He, he would have at least... It. He just held it. Yeah, he would have at least split. And now this is quite bad. He's gonna have a drill set up. Yeah, there it is. That definitely smelled like one. Unfortunately, drop drop. When you can just Sivo and win. Yeah, Sivo and win, or never, C drill would have. C drill would have done it too, I believe. Yeah, I'll never get off of uni players' asses for not just just press Sivo and then press IW. Yeah. All right, so Yaka getting some footing. We're at 2-1. Garm uh, maybe accelerating a little too fast and chasing down Yaka. He's going to want to have to slow it down quite a bit. Good DP. So now he's risking uh, stopping initiation. I would like to see... Yeah, he needs the laser and gym, I think, a little bit more. Laser and high gym. But Yaka already showing a, a curious answer. Went with the TK laser, which will go over the fireball and hit high. Yeah, you don't get to run up all the way if they shield that into your CS. Yo, Shimmy. Nice DP. I DP is so wide. It is. That particular setup is really scary to try. Oh, 2C this time. To try to DP. Drill. Yep. I think I'd like to see Garm start working in some more delayed or no techs. Yeah. Really stuff is because he's really seeing a lot of success with these meaty drills. Yeah. Yeah, trading a lot with these Fatista normal or these Fatista moves. And drill, good block. Yeah, made, had to make himself safe. Nice. There we go. This is very good for Garm here. He's going to get some carry to the corner, and the cycle will allow him on his next CS to I'll get him it again. back. Yep. Oh, he hit him standing, so he wasn't ready. There it is. Yeah. Isaac trap. Force function, delay CS, reversal. So lots of hides will often just, if they have Warple, not cancel force function at all. Because what are you going to do? You can see us it's so late, and trying to push a button there is a surefire way of getting DP'd. So, yeah, we saw that principle in effect right there. B-ball into laser. Yep, gonna go ahead and clear that. I think Yaka was hoping that the explosion would hit hide. Yeah, we're gonna mash too deep of a dash here. Side switch. 
Leo? No, not gonna do that. Yep, gonna let the gym do the work. And we're setting up the gym hell. Hi, gym. Oh, no. Yep, just gonna sit and wait. Hyde really just going to have to hold this. Yeah. Yaka disengages with the health lead. Garm has to build all of his meter. Or burn all of his meter. This sucks. Even with uh, CS on his side, there's not too much of an initiator. And I think yeah. he's out of time. Yeah. So, I would have liked to see Garm maybe pause. Go back to character select. Gather himself a little more. Because Yaka really looks like... He has hold over the momentum at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the kind of player Garmfield is. <laughs> it's not. He's but I, I always he wants his train to keep rolling. But nice throw. Yaka really getting more comfortable with his traps. Yeah. Laser. There we go. Set his back dash. He has him in the corner. This is where Hyde wants to. But... Oh, 2C to a whiff. Peach. It's interesting because after playing Stranger for so long, uh, I've gotten so used to seeing like EX uh, Drill Ender. Oh, uh, uh, came in and dove. So he should be able to kill if he decides to spin some meter. I don't think he's going to be able to do it otherwise. Yeah. 2600. Not a lot of damage on it, but it's still very hard to react to. Yako on set point. Yeah. Oh. The delay assault JB. The only way that she can actually grid crush you. Dash drill. It's all falling apart for Garm, unfortunately. Yep. Left without a lot of resources. Garm can't even shield. 5A check. Uses CS and still gets it back. Drill blocked. Alright. DP, there we go. No, no A flash for you this time. Alright, so this is still winnable. Winnable, but this is so uphill. It's not a hill. It's a mountain. Yeah It's okay. a sheer face It's that friggin wall from ninja warrior. It's shield. Garm has to make something happen right now CS it's fire. There you go. Let's go pale bringer Not a lot of time and one flash kick sets you back so far good tech I would have liked to see an assault come out from Garm air to air Great confirm. It's not he gonna... can win by timeout if he is right. There we go. He's skating the margins here. One more. Got him. Yaku what a counting... comeback from Garm. Yaku Fantastic answer. Counting on him to respect Flash Kick, but he just didn't. Good back step from Garm. And now he's back. He's got his footing. He's got some meter to play with. Gonna have to, yeah. So one of the things that I, I would like to see him do is walk two spots where Jim Explosion is not going to to be a threat. Because the big thing is, I don't think Vatista can parry uh, Fireball if he's particularly close. Good answer. That's a 10 frame punish. Alright, so we got one more hit. Actually, two more hits now. Hailbringer, throw, game over. Let's go. Garm with the fantastic comeback, the er, the anti comeback rather, because he was up 2-0 and then swung the pivotal game five. Oh my god, Garm is cracked. <laughs> that was really hard. Uh, yeah. GG, Becca. I'll, I'll maybe see you in grand finals. Indeed. So we'll we'll let Garm take a break. Uh, we're gonna swing it back. We need to change the room settings to first to two for our uh, loser semifinal set. Again, to to kind of mention things a little bit more, um, I think for the future of Hyde players or anybody really that contends fireballs with Vatista, if you're too scared to uh, give her dash block rhythm, 
just walk. Walk forward so you can force her to have to do something with Jim rather than, like, allowing her to continue to set up from a distance. She has to use, like, the B-ball if she wants to challenge your dash block. Otherwise, she's, like, starting offense with B-ball, which is going to trigger the gym anyway. So you can force her to do a couple different things just by walking to spots right outside where the gym explosion is. That puts a little bit of the onus on Vatista to make something happen. I think uh, if Garm wants to make an another, another adjustment, he needs to start throwing his fireballs right outside of the gym explosion. Anyway, enough about that. We're going to go into our loser semifinal set. Bolt Struck versus Orange. Nanase versus Altnum. This is a matchup that I'm relatively familiar with because I've played it. Uh, if I feel like my Akka is really smelly against Altnum, I will pick Ori or Nanase instead. So I'm going to be interested to see what the more seasoned Nanase player has for this matchup. Yeah, how do you think that goes? What are you looking for? So when I play it in contrast to Akatsuki, I want to make sure that I can set up a uh, ground fireball or put pressure on her with longer normals so Eltnum can't really move in and control some space. Okay, early start from Bolt. Okay, once the setup. Okay, pushed out. Gunshot from Orange. Orange does have the CS situation here. Uses it to get in. Good block. The other thing too that I like uh, for Nanase versus Eltnome is I think 5A is a fantastic horizontal check for redashes too. Relatively low commitment and it's fast at 6 frames as well. Yeah, I think the thing that uh, caught me off guard the most when looking at Nanase's frame data was the speed of 5A compared to its width. It Nanase. is one of the longest six or five A's in the game. Yeah, Nanase's buttons are really far and wide for how fast they are. Five mm -hmm. B is the one that often that. Oh no, punish! Unfortunate. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Orange still has some opportunities here. He can probably climb the tree if he wants, and climb the tree I mean is assault JACS. Instead, chooses to overhead. I would like to see him CS for some meter. He had, He's just gonna hold on to it. He, he takes the round, but he could have gotten the kill just by routing was, into IW, IREX. Yeah. Or, you know, if he only wanted to use one bar, he was going to get at least 70 or 80 meter back on the CS exchange. Good block on the high. And unfortunately, Bolt wasn't able to uh, make it safe with 2 and 4. Nice throw. There we go. Buzzing match 5 2A. Bolt's turn. Let's I do like corner. That. I don't know if that route always does that or if that's a mistake. Oh, that counter hit uh, gunshot actually had the ability to get picked up off of. Yeah, that was a combo without meter even. <laughs> Air DP. Good tech. Oh, I like the walk back into 2A, and that'll be game one for Orange. All right. Gonna like to see what Bolt's adjustment is here. I think Bolt needs to do a better job of just putting some fear into Orange. Uh, he had him in the corner a couple times, and Orange seemed very comfortable with just... Waiting for a rebeat, slamming a button, wasn't mashing. Uh, not a lot of Nanase centric pressure coming out from delay tech. One of the things I've been really curious by is uh, it doesn't seem like Boltstruck seems to either know or prefer to do the 50 50 uh, Okazume in the corner. Good DP. ADP, he could have canceled that too. Decides to keep his meter instead. Side switch. Definitely so, could have. He got the meter about like halfway through the ADP from CS, so I'm not sure he had it in mind. Yeah. Orange, I think ADP C dive is something uh, that should 
confirmed pretty reliably. Unfortunately, he's getting hit by Eltnum's best starter. Unfortunate drop from Orange, though. Tried to go really fancy on the confirm. This whole bracket, Orange has just been struggling to put in the damage off of these really strong hits. Okay. Again, uh, I kind of mentioned this in his set before. Um, seems to really prefer mid screen Okazeme rather than uh, pressuring corner. It's, which is bizarre to me, but it is a concept. Yeah. I think uh, Nanase's Okazeme is so potent with that uh, additional caveat. But we can talk about that potentially at another time. Orange again with a nice start. Bolt Shuck is going to have to fight out of this particular situation. Good patience. He will get the cycle. Yep. Oh, that CS was potentially dangerous there. Has to spend all of his meter. And then gets assaulted in on... This could be it. I don't know how long this combo is going to take. Interesting. If he had just done 6 6 C. Good tech. You have to be careful. Oh, that was good. Unfortunate VO. I'm surprised that Orange didn't uh, opt for IW at the end. Decided to go for two one bars. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's a lot of these situations where I don't think Orange is recognizing the routes he needs to take to be able to kill someone that combo. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was minus four from up close. Back step. Fortunately for Orange, oh, he had to spend all of his bullets, but, you know, Bolt doesn't have a whole lot of resources on his side, and he used force function. He's going to have to make something happen. Block double. There we go. Oh! No punish on that. That's minus six. Gunshot, though. Oh no. This Interesting. seems pretty scrambly to me. Gunshot. EX. EX. Yeah. So far, I... yeah, I think Bolt's uh, routing choice to send Orange out of the corner was also maybe a bit unwise. Bolt does have the lead, but he's not going to have the cycle. Final cycle going to Orange. But he's out of there. Good shield, but no punish. Got him jumping. There it is. You have to spin something immediately. You have to... Yeah. Oh, like, this no. is what I just said. I don't think Orange is present and just like recognizing these situations, what he has to do to win the game. Yep. That does come with time, though. Nice counter hit confirmed from Bolt. Nice. Decided to wait for uh, throw tech protection to end. Yep. Orange now trying to cheat with some shields. Blocks the triple overhead. Gunshot. Oh, counter hit assault. Yeah. Namase loves poking it with 2B, 2C. Yeah. I think Orange wanted to do the, uh, the fancy side switch. Nice air throw. <laughs> Namase gently gliding into Omen's arms. Yeah. I think El er, Namase had a couple air actions. Sea Dive might have killed uh, that air throw too. I think Sea Dive, I think uh, EX Fireball all would have yeah. been good. I think regular dive would have called it up. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. So nice shield from Orange. There we go. This is a nice pickup from Bolt. Uh, as I say that. Still enables him to gain the cycle. Back step. Yep. DP. Yep. Red flash. Cheater missed. Concentrate. Oh, gets gunshotted. Unfortunately, Orange has dropped that confirm, I think, two or three times today now. Gunshot. Oh, no. This isn't going to kill, though. 
So Orange just was still in it until that last counter hit 2B. And Bolt now moves in to Losers Finals. We're going to get Bolt versus Yaka. Bolt versus Yaka for Losers Finals? Semi finals. Yeah, set it to losers three. Finals. Set it to three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Orange wasn't quite ready for the timeout, and that was a, a big difference there. It just ever so slightly slipped away from him. It could have been a, a whole different game had he just had the. He would have had it if he just, you know, recognized the situation where you just have to slam in the X Games to win. All right, so Nanase versus Batista. I would have to imagine that Nanase still uh, has some struggles in this particular matchup. Uh, setting up against Batista, I feel like, is difficult with things like advancing 6 6 and whatnot. Um, so I'm interested to see what Bolt is going to do. I yeah. think the, uh, the Okazeme choices will come back to bite him if he's not prioritizing the corner. I think there's a lot of things that Nanase is looking for that Batista really can just find her way around, especially with stuff like a flash kick and uh, not being able to be counter hit, really stopping a lot of these really uh, hard hitting. Like you rely a lot on the three C untech to if you're not immediately routing into like eight JC. And already we can kind of see uh, Bolt's priority is going to try to set up a C, uh, excuse me, a B fireball, but Yaka is very much not letting him, forcing him to dash block. Nice 5B, but unfortunately he gives up corner position. Good block of the drill. Dash drill, there we go. Too fast. The craziest part about that is he still had meter protection in case it was blocked. Yeah, these really devastatingly effective Batista scenarios. Yep, thought that a projectile would come out. Uh-oh. Flash. Yep. Back at full screen. I really like uh, Yaka's meter priority. But now of all times, now that Yaka doesn't have that protection, it is time to make something happen. There we go. Uh-oh. Yeah, bolt dropping his combo like that isn't going to cut it if he wants to really capitalize on the moments when Batista doesn't have that safety net of EX laser. Good shielding. No ball. See, that's the type of ball that does get C, uh, C sword card. He just wasn't ready for it. Nice throw. Street Fighter? Nice throw. And he even shielded that. That was really aggressive. Yep, air to air, but wasn't ready to pick it up. Yaka in trouble, yeah. Can't bust out with two B from Bolt. Mm -hmm. Can't bust out with two B from that distance. Alright. Nice, I like that clear. Bolt is gonna have to remember that he does have some options for his meter. Now it's time for Batista throw. Yeah, good VO. Challenges dash up. He's not afraid. Yep. Oh, unfortunate back step. Nope. I, that's not I gonna work see that the time. Point. It's clearly a little bit of panic in Bolt Struck. Yep. Oh, he got caught by the up laser trap. It's like, oh, I can move now. It's not gonna hit me, but nope. The gym is still there for protection. The gym. One it's zero. You could block gems both ways, like most things. Yeah. Good back step. Oh, uh, I think he was definitely counting on that assault to do something, so he wasn't ready. Yeah, I like Yaka coming to meet him at the point of attack. There 
go. Packs in place here. This is actually kind of dangerous, yeah. That's super dangerous spot to shield, but oh. Force function. He should be dead. Um, yeah, no meter necessary this time. That's a lot. Of, that's a really strong starter, too. FF starter is a good one. Ugh. The one entry he had, that was a drill. He messed that up. Good low. You have to be very careful. But instead, he decides to spend it on uh, EX Ball. Drill, yeah. Three jump. Another drill. Good DP. <laughs> Wake up throw, yep. Fearing the CS. He's getting so much mileage just out of the implied flash kick mm -hmm. but eventually you gotta get him to do it you gotta force him to do it you Good gotta block. force him to do it for real you gotta you have to put the fear of god into them and make them know that you're just gonna meet them regardless of chain shift regardless of meeting. Yep. otherwise this happens yeah. although it is whatever painful, they want. it is painful getting hit by b flash kick cs i will say that trm yeah Yep, unfortunately, oh. Yaka hit the eject button on the B-Ball. That's where it is dangerous trying to sword car that late. My so. mistake, I didn't uh, adjust the round. Yeah. Oh, he's going to use Arika. Yep. So we will uh, see what the difference is. I know you have a lot of insight on this matchup. I do. This is still a losing matchup for Yuzuriha, but I don't know why it's different than the reasons why it would be for now. So, user Riha really uh, doesn't like fighting other zoners. Her kit is especially vulnerable uh, when she's fighting people who can contest her range because when you're out of stance, you're very, very slow and committal. Uh, once you establish that stance, you get, you know, you have free reign over pretty much everybody in the game at all times, but before you get there, you're really at the mercy of being hit by things like B-Ball, Laser, and just like 6-6-C six, up for Jason. Yeah. And I think the implied up-back threat that is really powerful against many characters, Fatista, I won't say doesn't care about it, but I think she has her own unique answers to, to that as well. can pretty much ignore the implied up-back threat with the options that she would kill Yuzuriha on the ground with anyway, those being 6-6-C six, six, and JC. To call both of those out, you have to do a very early up back JB on Yuzu, which stuffs it and can be hard to confirm in the action. Double Vorpal is probably not the scenario that Bolt would have wanted here. Yeah, now he's kind of set behind the eight ball. There is no uh no gym threat. Nice. And no pickup though. So I don't like Bolt backing off in these scenarios where you know that she has a back charge. And not much else. She's not going to laser you. Yep. It, there we go. He's not afraid of gem, not afraid of flash kick, just gonna assault. Has to make something happen. Interesting. You can go over no this. Flash there. You can go over this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good girl. Right thrust. You have to make a play for the cycle. Yeah, oh, right no. Right there is what you don't want to happen. That's the right answer. Flash. But that's fine. It's fine taking that. The sister does have to make something happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, up back JB wins here. Yep. Oh! You have to be so careful here. TRM, now you really have to come in. Nice! Let's go teleport. Teleport, we're out of here. Steals the crown. Nope. Up forward. I feel like you have to hold your space there, especially since you have the meter advantage. This is like the worst possible start. Nice tech! Oh no, this is real bad. Drill? No! But he Doesn't baited fun. him! Let's go 4B. 4B, thank you. This is gonna be a lot of damage if Bolt finishes the combo. Do you spin one bar or do you spin it all? You spend it all. Yeah. 100%. Nice. This is like 6k. Close. That's half. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, if you want to do pull that, you have to do way earlier before B. Yep. Teleport. 
sometimes oh. just doesn't do the right confirm. He has to be very careful. <gasps> Yo, the fuzzy 2A. What are you gonna do? Teleport? Nope, I'm out of here. Oh! Oh yeah. no! Four there B. it is. 4B, thank you. This is gonna kill. There we go. For not dropping that combo. It can be really scary to go into FFA routing in a situation where next you need to finish the combo. I think it was good that he made it easy for himself with uh, 2 and 4C on the ender. Yeah, definitely before. recognized that, oh hey, if I just do an EX move now, instead of waiting for another dash link, I can win. Nice, easy. Oh, that was very minus. Yeah, that was extremely minus. Yeah, I may be recognizing the situation a little late. Yep. Green shot uh -oh. through. Maybe Bolt should have started Yuzu. Does Yaka play... Who are the, the, the Chilean Yuzus? Is Barris Yuzu or Seth? Barris is Outnum. Barris AD is, is the AD Seth. Seth, Seth. Yeah, AD Seth is, is there. I don't know how much um, Brazil and Chile really interact. I know uh, Heaven or Hell was like one of those. And I think Yaka... Yaka might have beaten Seth there. Ball CS. And the gym. Yeah, delay tech. 5C? Yeah, no! You don't, you don't have the speed to do anything. If he actually did infinite worth, he had he had the game. Oh. Good Just maybe a uh, up back yeah, to eight. Yeah, you gotta do that one. That's the, that's the proper time there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thiago. Thiago yeah. is the, uh, the Yuzu there. Yep, nice VO. Just gonna wait. Yeah, tries to throw instead. Yaka looking maybe a little uncomfortable here against I'm, Yuzu. I'm not sure how familiar he is with what he has, like, how you win this matchup. Mm -hmm. Which, in my opinion, is to be very, very, very lame. You... Yuzuriha has an immensely hard time getting through the VAT wall, especially with like triple ball and just like setting a gem and waiting, because your extended hurtbox and your slashes will get clipped by gem incredibly frequently and kind of shut and down your attempts. Oh my goodness, EX Flash, really? So why? And the dash jump. Oh, he extended the string a little too much. The cycle was in play for him. Yeah, he, once they catch on, you're not going to be able to get away with raw teleports like that. Yep, no cancel 5C. I think Bolt can still maybe wait just a little bit. Now he has to make something happen. Call out. That was something, but he doesn't confirm the combo. Oh, no. Yaka does not have to do anything in particular, yeah. And now he's on set point. Yeah, so like this is... What do you do? Yep. Nice! Tech. That's not the easiest tech to do. It's really susceptible to getting good broken. Tried to go for the unblockable. <laughs> I see. The mini force function set up. That only works if they don't forward tech. Oh my god, A flash? Yeah, unfortunately online today, uh, Yaka has not had a lot of success with the uh, A flash confirm. Yeah. But oh. now, we're really about one drill away. Yeah, we're definitely at one drill. You have to be very careful. The throw tech. Yep, gonna sit there. Uh oh, not a strong start assault starter, but probably want. Oh shit! Oh no! Good confirm. Oh, just draw. This is it. Yeah, that's it. Just go into the. Are you gonna make please. it really simple for yourself? Strip? What? He didn't oh, have... okay. Uh. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> we're we're into I mean, our final let me, game. Now. Let me change the game. <laughs>
Oh, we definitely did forget to change the room. I haven't had time. They just go right back in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I, so... That was... I'm awestruck after that. Yeah, I, that was that was a pretty I, I amazing want, one, dude. I don't want to flame. So that I'm was almost a throw. Good, yeah. good, good stuff by Bolstra. <laughs> yeah, good recovery from Bolstra. Yeah. Now he's getting lasered. But fortunately, you know, as long as you don't panic, laser doesn't do a ton of damage to you. Unless they have the, the full, like, 3k confirm. Yeah, raw teleport is not going to cut it anymore. He's adjusted. He called the adjustment bureau. <laughs> nice. Yep, we're out of here. Disengaging teleport, again. Like... Oh, okay. Yeah, there's <laughs> you can't do that, dude. There we go. Drill? No. Good block. Oh, dash drill off the, the double 5 A. Alright. No. Nope. We are out of here. I wonder what he was looking for. Uh, that, that'll be if Batista's hitting a button, but... Yeah. It isn't really what she does around start, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. They flash again. You have to be very careful with this when pressing your offense is easier, because you don't really have a lot of ways of opening people up, so you default to assault, and then you eat a flash kick into a procedure. Right. This is now... It was guess for your life, but... Well, he guessed right. He keeps... Right. Oh, that was a very good whip punish. Alright, so Bolt dropping that, unfortunately. Yeah, he tried to teleport in between the C laser and B laser, which you cannot do. Yep, 2 plus. Yeah, that takes it through the tip. Oh my Respectable uh, finish from Bolt Shock, ending with third. But Yaka now coming up through losers. Are we able to switch our room settings now? We are. Yes. And now we are at our final. We have. Garm defending Canada from the invader. Loser or excuse me, grand finals, winner's final or winner's side is Garm, loser's side is Yaka. Are we perhaps going to see Garm continue with the hide start or are you going to play one of his secondaries? Don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yep. Alright, I'll, I'll uh the room's gonna change, right? Uh I'll yes. Go. Yep. Okay, let's get into it. See ya. Alright. The definitive conclusion of East Canada Grid Breakfast 4 is at hand. Mm -hmm. And he's playing Fona. Uh, probably a conscious choice by Garm to keep Yaka on his toes, keep him from finding the answers. Yeah. Now... Yaka should have experience in this matchup because of Thiago, who is not a Yuzu player, plays Phonon. Um, I believe there was another one, like a... There's like a really strong Melty player that played Phonon, but their name is escaping me right now. So Melty player I think, who played Phonon and ST? Oh. No, Melty player... Uh, like, one of their strongest Melty players who plays Phonon and played it. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Yep, gets the up back. So Garden looks pretty comfortable here for the most part. Uh oh, but he gives up his cycle. We'll see how it looks on defense, because I think Yaka is going to be very comfortable here. Yep. Not much Phonon can do when the gems are out and the balls yeah. are on screen. Except for I don't, that. Yeah, I don't think she has to chase that much, or she didn't have to until now. Now she doesn't have the life lead, but before she had the life lead and could have waited, I think. There we go. Nice assault over the 2B. That's 2 for 2, Garm assaulting over 2Bs, which is usually an 0 for 2, but, you know, he makes it happen. Hop back. Get below. Oh, 
Garm's showing a lot of early shields here. Nope. CS doesn't go into anything because he didn't quite have 100. Yeah, disengage. I think Garm is going to just try to lock him down for the next 10 seconds. There yeah, we go. That's nice. It. That should be it. Just move forward, you know, to, to end it faster. Yaka will get meter on the next blocked attack. Yep. Nice throw. You know. Interesting force function choice. Trade. But no counter hit, so she doesn't stay down there. Arm seems to be spending his meter as fast as he's getting it on these J26C. J2. J2 to succeeds, trying to take his turn back against that. I don't think I've really seen these two characters fight uh, often enough to be sure of whether that's a good plan or not, because it seems like there's a lot of spots where he could be really relying on uh, EXDP to get him out of a jam. Yep. Oh no. That was the round, but we are going to put the gem out. Safe gem. Yeah, I haven't really seen this matchup to well no there is a uh, Clem and Suika Suika plays in a particular way Clem and Arya versus Suika there used to be LTP versus Fox but LTP is no longer playing good answer from Yaka in our first game tries the fuzzy 5A that not a bad choice but Yaka didn't move on on 5A very strong button but maybe not as horizontally inclined as use as a Batista 2B. Okay. okay, back throw. Oh no, but he corners himself. There we go. Nice punish on the jump gym. It, it's a punish, but it doesn't lead to anything. And now he's down. He's without meter again. Yeah. It's these this situation that Garm keeps finding himself in that I'm. I keep thinking. Maybe he'd be better off if he wasn't in. Yeah, I agree with that. So even if he CSs, he doesn't have too much to put on it. Yeah, but he gets the guaranteed overhead. Yeah, oh no. That is he's such a it again. And then, and then oh, this is it. This if he's able so to finish sad. it. Can we get 50 likes? Yeah, man. If anything, Garm, I, I think maybe could use, yeah, Jump Fireball. This is a nice try, you know, it just demoing uh, what this might feel like, kind of getting the feel out. I do this a lot playing Orie to start against certain players, um, if I'm not totally confident in Akatsuki. Uh, but he's going to his tried and true, and we'll see what sort of adjustment we can yeah. make it's <laughs> kind of dangerous because now we've seen yaka complete a flash combos yeah his threat level is rising mm -hmm. he went from four stars on gta to five mm -hmm. yep yeah i like the neutral jump trying to clear uh six six b good okay. blocks for good 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 uh-oh is getting caught frame trap into frame trap. Yeah. That's yeah, so you gotta start taking, Yeah, you gotta start taking your space here. You wanna walk to a spot. Because if you wait too long, you're giving Batista time to chase the ball. She's going to be able to once it's out anyway, but you're going to give her way too much initiative. Okay. Good throw into the corner. Strip. Interesting, because he was probably going to get the cycle anyway. Be oh high. This is going to be scary, but bust out. Oh! This is... He mashed on that. That was plus. A drill is uh, plus two at the tip. Let's do Garm Peel. Yeah. Yeah, he's down around. Okay. Yep. So that's a good position. He wants to move forward again. Oh, the assault was kind of scary, but about here you want to start walking. Nice! That was good. We got the overheads coming out. Oh, assault uh, JB! Assault JB is unlocked. Yep. Unfortunate missed that from Yaka. Yeah. 
Okay. Back step caught. Yep, we're out of there. That was pretty minus, but maybe slightly too far from something that Hyde could press. I don't know what inspires you to press 6B in that scenario. What in the world? That was very creative. Oh, nice! Nobody did steal the cancel it! Okay. Chip. Throw punish. Okay. For all that, you probably wanted to do 5A. Or he 2A. You probably right? killed him for 2A. Yeah. Good Neo, uh... nice. Meaty. Just don't get flashed. Just don't get flashed. That's it. Yeah, perfect. Let's go high. Uh, yeah, jump gym. But that's fine. You can start taking your space. Now you have to hold this though, unfortunate. Dashed him out of the ball, but that's fine. The tech is going to guarantee him the cycle. So again, if you're high, you start maneuvering outside of that gym, but you don't. This is gross. That's a, yeah. DP? No, we're out of here. Throw a fireball from here. Exactly. Yep. Drill. Yeah. Nice smelly drill. Not a whole lot of damage on this, thankfully. Quick shimmy. Okay, now you can follow that a little bit. DP? There it is. You still could have gotten C drilled, but. I'm. I'm sorry I'm leaving you out to dry, but there's just so much going on, so much to watch. Yeah. Yep, go ahead and wait. Gar oh, no. would have had enough time, but not anymore. And Yaka up two to zero. Set reset point from Yaka. Mm -hmm. Garn is just struggling to make the same kind of energy that he won the first set with work this time. I would he's... say that Yaka is decidedly more cautious and patient too. Yeah, I think yeah. he's he's realized he's a little. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. He's slowing it down a lot, whether while Garm is kind of keeping the same, like upbeat kind of pace, and. Yeah, like instantly shielding after getting the throw attacked. It's Did he's that making a run. That was a confirm off the ball into dash drill. That was really cool. There we go. Stagger two A's. Okay. Oh no. Side switch. Strip. That was a drill. Okay. It's just one touch that Garn needs to take that round, but... Shadow no. Scare... Unfortunate no people. Oh! CS. So yes, there it is. He was a little late, but got like a small inch of meter here. Okay. Yep. Good shielding. I think that was potentially a an assault JC or like a jump C that he could have challenged with an anti air. There we go. So this is a strong start for him. Yep. Knockdown. Has to yeah make sure he gives up the. He has to wake up into a flash kick. Mm -hmm. This isn't gonna kill, but we got one more. Oh, he came late on the throw. I think Yaka wanted to set up a ball. This is the second time this match when we've seen Yaka in danger time and just kind of walling out Garn, who's decidedly more patient. I the match than the got caught. There we go, 6B. 6B, my beloved, saving the day. Indeed. All right, All right. back on the board, fighting back. Yaka is taking a bit of invaders. time. Yeah. What I like here is Yaka is spending some time kind of contemplating, I think, seeing what potentially went wrong here. Or it could be Uni exploding. It's actually hard to tell. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. I definitely think it's more uh, apt for Yaka to be the one taking a breath here, kind of figuring out what went wrong, what worked, what didn't, 
That's kind of the way he's been playing, it's been showing, and his choices. And this situation sucks. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh no! Hide sucks. Buffs, please. No. <laughs> Hide hater 101 over here. No, but, I'm, uh, I'm on your side, don't worry. Oh, uh, that's a red combo, but the ball is chasing like it wants to be a part of the action. Yeah, DP into DP. We're washing blood with blood here. Nice Lasers punish on the dude. No buffs, nerfs. Exactly. Oh, oh. If he picks that up. If that would have been really good. Okay. So, he can wait. No! Oh, that's fine. He didn't die for. Oh my god. Stagger 2A. Oh Garn my field. god. I, I really like what I'm seeing from Garn. He's returning tradition to tradition. He's returning to his roots. He's just keeping it nice and simple and not trying for too many hard reads. He's just, he knows what works and he's saying to it. Okay. Concentrate. Concentrate here. That's fine. Defuse the bomb. Now you run in. You run in past the gym. No, you don't stay back there. Come on. <laughs> Even if the gym explodes. Uh, ground. Yeah. He's seeding too much ground here. Okay, now he's fine. Falling J. Flash kick off the table at least for a couple seconds. Nice throw. Yeah. He has this, to cut it short if he wants to cycle. This is going to win the cycle, though. Ah. Now Tech loses him, and now he's in the corner against that. Yep. DP. Oh, no pick up there, but guaranteed ball. Very good delay tech. We are washing blood with blood. All right, Your DP, my DP. back on the vertical cycle. Yep. Uh oh. Nice wait. There we go. Great throw. All right. This, and this is it. Should be it. Just CBO? your combo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just gonna ADP. And he was gonna put some more meter on it. Now Garm, one game away from defending Canada. Two, two. I'm, I'm waiting with such anticipation. I'm so excited for this last game. I wonder what the round start is. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Fantastic start. All right. So this is the positioning you want, but he went with Shadow Skip. What a whiff punish! Air to air. And he picked that up. Fuck your counter hit. Don't need it. Garnfield did some adjusting of his own. He's been shutting Yaka down at every opportunity in these neutral interactions. Neutri okay. Yaka finally finds his footing, but he's at a third of his life. Yep. Good shield. Alright, so Garm doesn't really have to make a ton of things happen here. He can passively take this in, but he has to start challenging these gym placements. So, walk forward, walk forward. Don't give up the ground, don't give up the ground. Because Yaka can't do anything with that gym behind him. Not right now. Ah, oh, there we go. Trip. This is still not that bad. DP trade. That's fine. Shadow Sphere? No! Ball eats all of laser. Right. You're still fine. You have the life lead. There you go. Safe diffusion. You're slightly behind now, but you can make a play. I would jump here. That CS was unfortunate. That's the, that's the, yeah. that's the round. That's it. That's it. I think you definitely start neutral jumping and you make some plays. Okay. Yaka with the smart adjustment here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, no shielding necessary. Dash. There we go. This is a very good set. Okay. All right. Go. Oh no! He wanted the CS, CS trap. Yeah. Side switch. He's probably gonna get stripped here. This should be Yaka's. I gets the wake up. Uh oh. Huge. He this, can I don't know kill. This, this... He has to spend everything. Give him everything. DP. No, that's not enough. Say jam, where are That's you? 
Okay. Just wait. DP! There we yeah. go! Yaka needed to 2FF there, if he has cycle. Alright, hi Jim. Alright, last there you round. Go. Potentially the last round of the tournament. Good shielding. Walk him to the corner. Good shielding. So Yaka, I think, might have to adjust to be a little bit more aggressive again. I think any choice... Oh that... my god, that's a pickup! This character. Drill. Oh no. They need to... Garnfield needs to pull out all the stops, come up with something unprecedented. VO is pretty precedented. I don't VO know if that's going to cut it. Yep, you have to block this. Interesting that uh, Yaka did not opt to put a gem out early. Maybe uh, yeah. kind of messed that up. Arm takes I... cycle. Yep. I would protect myself with a gem. Yeah, you stay right around that gem. This is Garm's best time. Back to No, yes! Uh-oh. What are you going to do? You have more than enough time. It's okay. Flash! Yeah, there's no One more chance for Garm. One more chance for Garm. He still has enough time. Oh, he thought a ball was coming, and Yaka with the reset. Oh my goodness! One That's more. That's a bracket reset. We saw both players really come into their own after the last two rounds. It's Damn. just so high stress. I can feel it from both players. Damn, this is a grueling. This is. You know, some holy war type shit, you know. Everybody taking losses on both sides, and you're just swinging, hoping to get to the end here. So, more adjustments have to be made. Let's see what our start is. Run up anti-air. Challenging jump gym in that instance. Okay. Yep. Start fighting right around that gym. I like to see it. And you still were able to get the cycle. Start challenging it again. Now you can walk out of that range. Guaranteed diffusion. Get out of there. Yep. Again, this is, I think, a strong start. I'm not really... Oh, no. He ate too many lasers, but he still has the cycle. He has cycle. He's has his turn. Cycle. Gives his turn back to Yako for fear of CS. And now he's nope. back where he started. Uh oh, that's the. I can't, this help is bad feel, now. I can't help but feel that Garm is regressing a little bit to these, that game one and two play style. That he gets ahead of himself and puts himself in these really dangerous scenarios. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be the first round. That was a long round. I think Garm had a lot of the, the correct decisions made there. Yeah, force him to spin some meter. Move to defuse the gym. Nice. Okay, okay. could have punished that. Oh okay. my god. Okay, good shield. Um, I don't know if I like that meter spin. He's, he's you going can fishing. Yeah, you can definitely protect your... Oh, I love that punish. Forcing them, but... uh. The punish on 2FF. Nice assault! I would like to see uh, Garn protect his fireballs with CS a little bit more. Nice! Uses the jump cancel. Good awareness from Garn, knowing that he can't get that. Dash up! This is still going to- it was still going to kill if he did the full combo. Alright. Final, final round of the first game of the reset. There we go. Okay. High laser. We are Here's swinging. Opening for Garm. He caught a big one. Yep. All right. Just BP. There we go. Good block. There it is. The Isaac trap. Walk back. Trying to punish a potential bust out. Yep. It's fine to give up your turn there. Yeah. I don't... Uh, I really don't like these lasers. I he's, don't like the laser either. I think he's too preemptive on it. He, he knows that he just needs the one laser. He just needs it to hit to win. 
Uh, that was an unfortunately messed up drill, but unfortunately, Yaka even doesn't more unfortunate yet. missed combo. Yep. These Good matches late. have been so even, but it still feels like Garm is fighting like this, the hardest uphill battle. It's like oh. Yaka, I think, is getting really comfortable in his movement right now. Yeah. And then he gets called out. Huge in one Garm field. Yaka may be playing with his food just a little bit. Gets his backward movement called out. I don't know if he's playing so much as he's fighting with his food. He's going hunting. He's... True. Yo, the trade! That's, That's still fine. Batista took more off of that trade until now. No drill. That was pretty minus. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, that's fine. That's Every fine. missed opportunity feels like the end of the world for Garn here. Yeah. The kind of crazy thing battle. about it, too, is uh, both of these characters are high damage, low life characters. I think Vatista has. Is Vatista's life that low? It was lowered. I think it's fourth lowest now. I know Hyde and Wagner are tied for the second lowest. I think Hilda's down there, and I know Vatista's down there. Good start from Garm. He has the first real significant hit. Yeah, there's the bust out with 2B. Strip. Okay. That was a good high shield to disable the drill off of that. Drill? No! We get the shimmy! And he should die for this. He's definitely dying to this. There it is. That's 5 one secured. Oh no, this is round one of game round two one. here. So now it's just like a reset. Okay. Nice, 6B. These are some oh. really unfortunate 6Bs not confirming here. Yep, no fireball for you. Time to go back to the gauntlet. Yep. Double fireball versus Vat feels really scary to do. Like any character that has a horizontal fireball. Oh, that was a confirm! Come on, Garm! You need those! He's too old. Pack it up. Okay. He's fighting a fireball war. Both players are just leaving this line of trying to get grid and throw fireballs so the other guy doesn't get grid, but also not too many fireballs that you give the other guy grid. Yep. Dash up. Yeah, that Huge was throw. finest. Huge though. Double Huge throw. Throw. Street throw. And he walks in with the 5A. Let's go. This is a real good set. What is Garm going to do, Okazume? That oh no, he gets really a flash, sad. but there was no charge. Drill? No. Gave it up. CS? Oh, that was plus. He didn't shield that. So, Garm going to take that round. Jeez. I'm exhausted, so I can't imagine how uh, the players are feeling right now. There you go. Hey, we're an hour behind schedule. <laughs> I can okay. forgive you for being tired. Uh, yep, double warp wall. The ultimate game. No, of don't see us. Uh, you definitely don't want to give that up. If anything, yeah, you walk to the gym and you force him to defuse. Yep, see us, walk back. Oh, got thrown. Again, you're not too far behind. This isn't terrible. Now this is a little bad. CS. Oh my goodness. It, it's still bad, but it's better than... Okay, now it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate drop. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fireball. Hit. Just... Gets out the good ball. shielding. Gets thrown, though. All of that progress is lost. Just like your save getting deleted. He's just... Ball, laser, ball, laser. Yep. He's just like, oh my goodness, now he, he actually... He actually has enough time. DP! What are you gonna do? Throw! Uh-oh! No! Oh my oh, god! He got him! Garm. He got him! Garfield! He's I love you! It's what a nice. comeback, it's 2-0! Yaka folding in the final frame of that game, at least. He really said, don't ever shield me. Yep, do not ever. All right.
Jeez, these are brutal. What is Yakin gonna do? Dash throw. I like the whiff punish with 5C. Yaka is not. No, he's gonna get the cycle. Double. Okay. No. Oh, no. What a call out. Alright, you're, you're feeling yourself a little too hard. Come back down to Earth. Yeah, CS diffused. But he still got that cycle, that's fine. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that sucks. Gonna be able to pick that up. Are we gonna see a CS maybe from Yaka? Yeah. It's Flash not is not the answer kill, though. I'm not sure what Garn can do. He still barely has enough time. Now I, he doesn't have I enough time. I do not think that burning 100 meter was. I think if you're gonna try to win that round, you should try to. You need to be maybe, as conservative. Maybe work as it you with. Are. Yeah, be a little more yeah. conservative. Okay. Okay. You don't really have to do anything. There you go. Alright. Let me start shifting my perspective. I feel like I'm You're too first. biased in favor of Garm. I yeah. I can't help but be biased in favor of Garm Field, despite really like That's a punish. It you really feels like there. he's he's fighting against this titan of a character in like a losing matchup fantastic shield punish yaka had no means of protecting himself uh that was a guaranteed at least six frame punish yeah. so he to a... redeeming himself for failing the a flash kick c ball punish earlier mm -hmm. right. tournament so, point for garn yeah he just needs yaka... to make the magic happen one more time mm-hmm Yaka is giving up a few too many shields at this point. You know, it feels like Hyde has so much meter. Yep. Oh. Yep, there we go. Got that hit. So now it's time for Yaka to start. Okay. Uh-oh, gets thrown back into the corner. EX laser, fantastic answer. Okay. Vio successfully defuses the bomb. But we got the bust out. Yaka hasn't been able to land these combos. Yeah. Maybe Nerve's getting to Yaka here. He tried to CS on landing, but he, he, but wasn't, he wasn't landed. It. Yep. Dash up throw. Uh oh. Garnfield getting started. Cycle is for him. Don't shield Yaka. There you go. Good block. Good tech. Oh. Uh... And there we go. So Yaka should go ahead and finish Yaka that. on the board. One to two. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the answer is. Yeah. Jumping into high gym. This is a good, pretty good starter. He's going to drop the combo and just... Go back to pressuring Yako with these his normals. Yeah. Garm has been very key on assaulting various normals of Yaka. He's assaulting over them in a way that's making really great use of like this spacing knowledge where he knows that he needs to <laughs> No see him. I was actually kind of surprised that we didn't see uh nice DP that still yeah. reached. Oh my god, Garm! All right, he took off the limiters. He's he's running a he's his adaptive gameplay style. Mm -hmm. Yaka having to uh, fight for his life. I don't think Yaka knew about the uh, DVL trap. VO accelerates your grid game, so there was basically no way for him to win that uh, tug of war there. Running out of ball. Right. Yaka, I think. Neutral. Yeah, he Dash needed drill. that drill. He was spending way too many resources, and he's still not going to gain a whole lot off of this DP. It's all coming apart for Yaka. There it is. No, he's back in it right there. All right. Yeah, he s secured his place. Okay. Yeah, so he set up the gym wall. This is exactly what you want. You're starting to defuse resources for nothing. Shield, yep. 
Guaranteed. So again, Garm is going to have to start challenging, start dashing or walking. There we go. Yeah, there's a challenge for you. Are you going to strip here? I feel He's like oh, messes he messed up. up the yeah. Oh, delay to a. He caught him. All right. This should be Yaka on the board. Oh no! Oh, Dude. oh my goodness! Oh my god! Garm has enough time. He has to put a fireball out right now. Oh! Did he no! 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 He dropped it! He dropped it! Wait! Oh my god! He's going Who's to die! Who's the script for this tournament? He's going to die! No! He's, no! He's not! It's no! He's not! Out. It's over! It's over! Garn won the tournament. Garnfield three one. Dude. Oh my! How much are you paying god. Yaka? I'm not gonna lie to you. I know they're both gonna be at CD. I want to see this again. I want to see a long one of this. This was a fantastic set. Ready, you dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Garnfield that, fighting from the brink. That was... That was amazing. He... Okay. I, I'm in disbelief. Yeah, that was Hello. that was a crazy ending. Oh crazy my god, set. Garm. Who do you get yeah. to write your scripts, Garm? Yeah. Uh, I need a new copy out of that. Listen, I have two English degrees. I write them myself. Oh, Jack I write my own destiny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those are those games have me like super worried. Like yeah. every every game, even though I three out of this like. Oh, it was 3 1 actually. Yeah, oh, 3 1, right. I wasn't even keeping track. That's how, like, lost I was. Mm -hmm. oh, they man. were super, super great to watch. Those were the best games I've watched in a Netplay tournament ever. Yeah, really? Those yeah. were, were yeah, really, those were really fun. Extremely matches. fun to watch. I think, like, this set and I think Say Jam's Defy, uh, Defy Big Black sets. Oh, Last has had a lot of really good Defy Big Black sets too, but is this one was definitely up there too. That was a very very good set, amazing. So Yaka, I think can't hang his head. He played that really well. Uh, there are a couple of knowledge difference, you know, differentials there, like him not knowing about the uh, CBO concentrate trick. You know that yeah. that lost a little bit of initiative for him too. I think. He probably wasn't so comfortable dealing with Shadow Scare either. Um, and then you, you kept it nice and conservative. And you were challenging with DPs. There was there was a lot of good uh good uni in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I definitely uh, scammed timer and also gave him the North American Zevo knowledge tech. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, no. Yaka played really well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh I mean I've been talking this whole time. Do you have any uh, any further insight here, Garm? Or maybe Axel, do you have something to say? Uh, I don't have much to say except to wrap up the tournament. So you guys continue what you want to say. Because other than that, I'll um, just finish there okay, after well, you guys. First of all, thanks so much, everyone, for entering. Uh, thanks, Yaka, for oh, visiting yeah, for sure. our quite little This was a really here. good tournament for us. Like mm -hmm. Everyone had a lot of fun, I think. You know, there's a few delays, but... Great. Yeah. Sorry. Play. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead and continue, Garm. I I know you were in the middle of saying something there. Oh, um, that's pretty much it, right? Like, um, I know CB's CB's coming up, so we're all getting excited for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Axel and I are going. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. Everyone here is going. Yeah. Well, actually, no, people, all... people from this region aren't like some of the bracket enters aren't okay. going. Okay. Well, yeah. I know Rakir. Rakir. I think it's like Rakir, Smart Steer, you and Axel. I think. Is there yeah. another one? Uh, um, Chunk Brixen is coming, but. Is but Smart Steer going? He's entering. Yeah, Smart Steer was planning to go. He's in the bracket, I believe. I think so, but he hasn't been playing it for a while. But he is still entering Uni, so it's another person from East Canada. Who is? Uh, Chunk Brixen. Chunk. Oh, okay. And yeah, then yeah. Uh, Jet Rumble is uh, Kotsky from yep. Montreal. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, again, thank you for welcoming me in. You know, I'm I'm not East Canadian, obviously. I'm a little below that in Ohio, but 
I, I was really glad to be uh, asked to come in and work with Carp and Garm. You know, it was a fun ass tournament tonight. Very to fun tournament to watch, I think. I think I had the most fun I could have in this tournament by commentating it <laughs> instead of playing it. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of fun to play. I but... too have been adopted by the East Canadians after my uh, local stop run in uni. Mm -hmm. So it's been really great to get the opportunity to come here uh, and watch some games. Just have a good time. Again, I guess for me signing off, uh, thank you, Axel. Thank you, everyone, yeah. for tuning in. And thank you, East Canada. I've, I've been really happy to see you guys uh, step up and come in as a collective. Uh, you know, in this time where it's a little bit more difficult with Corona and everything, uh, locals are a little touch and go basically all over North America. Uh, but to see, you know, all of the scenes come together, can, you know, we talk about Canada. I know, uh, you know, Eunice, Washington, which is kind of merged with, uh, BC. Uh, obviously we have Uni Brazil, we have Chilean Uni and all of the other uh, pockets that are staying strong in, in this time. Happy to see it. I love it, man. This is the shit I love for sure. Yeah. Glad just to have everyone active in the community. Just keep people playing this game. You need solidarity. Uh, yeah. One thing though, uh, so usually we run this every two weeks, but we haven't been run, able to run it for a while because of a few other things. Um, mm -hmm. So next week, we'll actually be running this tournament again. So... Just, just watch out, I guess. I'll be posting about it for next week. And uh, yeah, see you guys there if anyone shows up, wants to play. Right. Yeah, we'll see you then. Yeah. yeah see you then. And if uh, I don't catch a lot of you, I know a lot of the people in the chat uh, will probably be at CB. Let's play some games. You know, uh, I have the exhibition series. I think literally everybody else in this call is in my exhibition series. <laughs> How um, about that? I'm going to uh, be in contact with you guys soon. What I think I'm going to do is, um, you know, early as possible, have you guys sit in at the recording. I think I'm going to do a premiere system. Like, I'll, I'll put it on my channel. I think I'll, I'll do the overlay thing, see if I can get some people to commentate and release it after CB. So uh, look forward to that and look forward to this next tournament. We'll have East Canada Grid Breakfast number five. Grid break, you know. Nah, Grid Breakfast is pretty funny. <laughs> Sorry, I, I saw the double meaning. No, no, no. It's actually it was actually intended double point. meaning. <laughs> yeah. All right. So All right. peace out, everybody. See ya. Hi guys. And have a good night. What do you think?